Find out this investment will work out for me. What a cry baby! Can we call you back? What? I don't think you can survive that. Gringo, rated R, in theaters March 9th. I'm sorry about that gringo advertisement, everybody, but here is an attempt to stream Monster Hunter. I don't know if my OBS will be shit. I can't <laughs> promise anything, but uh, here we go. And uh, if it's shit, well, you know where to take your business. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Looks <clears throat> like if you want to say hi and chill all your stuff like you do on my Discord. Uh, I'm not good. <laughs> no, man, no sure, show today, sure but hello, want, everyone. You know, you sure you want to take a, a shit on my, uh, on my, on my, uh, stoop? Take a big old shit chill. Are you stoop, kid? Are you stoop, kid? I'm, I'm not. Who won't leave a stoop? I ain't afraid to leave my stoop. <laughs> also, this is not a part of fight the fighting game community at all. Nah, no, leave it there, man. It's easy. It's... All, all the fine game streamers do that. I'm not streaming fine games, so whatever. Let's go. All the fine game streamers are probably streaming Monster Hunter World anyway. No, they do. They are. <laughs> I'd be like, man. Why? No, nah, actually, wait till you. <laughs> wait till now, you if what? you do pull your, pull your Tetris. And and you have fine game community. Oh, they'll love you for it anyway. Like, there's a struggle with that too. Oh, I can't wait for. Oh man. Excuse me, big boy. Excuse me, baby boy. I don't have time for you. I ain't strong enough for you, baby boy. My beautiful baby boy. Shut your mouth. Also, I'm not playing any music, so this needs to go away. No, not the logo. There it is. So look at that, everybody. I'm also working on a BRB screen there. Didn't look great. Oh, shoot. I just realized. I actually thank you, Discord. That's actually cool that there's a watch button. Is there? Never, if you're streaming. Yeah, it, um... When, uh, whenever you stream on Discord, or you know, yeah, the whole uh, thing. I, when I click on your name, it says "watch," as if it'll take me to your stream. That's actually really that's cool. Discord. Okay, yeah, that's, that's pretty damn cool. Discord. Yeah, Discord. I hope Skype. I hope Skype is, is done. Skype has been done. Oh no, Skype! <laughs> no, Skype! But... Skype will be there for the oldies. Exactly. No, it'll be there. Skype no is what, the but... equivalent of rotary phones for the internet. It's for it, it, it's it's for the old people now. Yeah. Cause I forgot we can do a screen share now and stuff. Youth movement's all about the Discord. Oh, hold on a second. Discords are with the rebellious p kids and their hippity hop movements. The hip hop, you don't stop the bank. To the bang bang boogie, to the the boogie, and the boogie, the boogie, the beat. If you need to go, you got the. Still need to practice. <laughs> Still need to practice. Rapper's delight. I really like that song. Catch you that. For I need to figure out how to make it so when I'm showing stuff from Elgato, it doesn't look fucking blurry and pixely with the text. That's irritating, anyway. I gotta figure out some tech around oh, there. I'm sure there, okay, I'm sure there is. I think I, I've seen it. It's like if you... Because it's, cause it's like... Because some frames just aren't solid 60. Which is weird. Because they should be. In terms of like... Uh, when you show it. I don't know. There's some fucking bullshit. Sorry. It's behind... The resolution all that stuff. I don't want to do full screen because I like to have the little box. I like my little template thing. And I made it a lot bigger now too, so it takes up most of the screen, if not all of it. 
And I don't want to change that. I don't want to change. Is that a lava mole? Wow. Is that lava mole, the mole rat? Lava. Oh no! You're a fucking lava fish! Isn't that more like a shark? No! That's so cool. I'm not fucking with you though. I gotta get around you. Man, I'm a lame -o. I tried to get into Monster Hunter, and I'm just like... I'm a lame -o. Six le I'm gonna kick you into therapy. We're gonna boost that ego. <laughs> what? No, don't do that. For what fuck's you... sake. No one likes a mope. Friend. How about... I'm... I'm... Where'd, where'd my six let go? Where'd my confident <laughs> boy go? <laughs> confident... Uh, uh. He used to stream KOF and not give a damn. He used well, to do it big. Well, that's because Then he went I to Florida just... and became a fuckboy. <laughs> there you go. Why'd you become a fuckboy? Because I got a job now. No, that's not an excuse. I got a job and I'm not, no, I'm not a fuckboy. Oh, that's the thing. <laughs> the job made me a fuckboy. <laughs> Yes, I'll get that ball for you right quick. Is that right, a good well, fuck boy? I got responsibilities now. Screw me, I guess. You can manage. It's all about if it's important enough, you can make time for it. I've 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 learned that lesson. I don't know. Maybe maybe the, the, the spirit of Sixlet will come back and hit me. A wise it's... Seuss once told me that. Also, sometimes you just need to just take a step back. Believe me, this All is right. coming from the guy that's not stressing himself out about about certain videos being made anymore and stuff like that. Ah, oh, nah, nah. You, um... That's why I look up to you. I am not someone to look up to. Like, like, so, like you know, it I helped. do I'll... not have... I have I look... some of my <laughs> shit in order, but I am far from having all of it in order. Oh, but you have more in order than I do. <laughs> I guess that's true. But at the same time, <laughs> if certain things in my life start to crumble, I... Mm. Well, then again, I have people's houses I can just bum at. I'm sure. I don't know about for my entire rest of my life, but for a short period of time. And I do have five grand coming in. At some point. Eventually. I don't know, man. Maybe I should move to New York with you guys, and then it'll, it'll be like the new team not crash. Do you have money? Uh, I do, because but not New enough York's, to do that. Because New York's money. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's why. I'm poverty. I'm not worthy to be Take over Take it from there. me, the guy that doesn't pay rent. <laughs> it's money. I'm st that's why I'm still I'm still hoping for that lotto ticket and be like, hey guys, we're gonna live the life now. That is a terrible life way to live your life. Just one more scratch and it's easy street, baby. Oh no, oh, no, not scratch. I don't play that. No. <laughs> that's the, that that's that's when you Come know on, you lost. I just need one more scratch. No, that that's that's when you know you lost. I don't just. A few dollars in uh, uh, of what was it? A lottery? No, not the. Uh, that's crap. If I want to have fun and gamble, I play poker at like Dog Racer or Hard Rock Cafe. That, that that's a good way to play cards. Don't play roulette. Roulette's garbage. Lots of garbage. Play card. Play poker. I play don't blackjack. Trust myself in any of those at all. Not, not a one do I trust. Well, I mean, yeah, you're not supposed to trust anyone. But I feel like when you play, like, blackjack and poker, it's like, ah, you know. Hey, if you're good with know. numbers. I mean, I don't know shit about card games in general. Nor do I probably have the intelligence, nor the intimidation factor, 
nor the sneaky and slyness to get away with any bullshit or shenanigans. I feel like my face has millions of tells. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's going on, doggo man? What's... Nice to see you here at the stream. That is surprisingly not looking jank. That's a first. Although I've wanted to try that at least once, just to see if I if I have a good poker face or if I can really hustle the. Can I convince Can I convince that guy to 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 fold his pair of aces when I got like the worst hand possible? Can my stand truly spring me to victory? Yeah, exactly. Oh, thanks, Doggo. I mean, I, it, I'm just worried because it, it it um for the past couple of the days it's been a little bit wonky, and it's been irritating oh. me, which is why I just gave up on the goal of just streaming my whole entire playthrough of Monster Hunter. So now. It gets to be skipped to nearing the tail end. So that's fun. No, but so far so good, actually. I, even I can tell you that, yeah, I have no no skip frames. And I even and I even checked the, uh, I'm using the other uh, thing here. It it, ne it looks looks good so far. It's, it's smooth. It's been 30 frames consistently. Well, then again, I'm doing like, huh? It might have just been the OB... Because it wasn't my network. It's definitely not my networking. My network's not amazing. But it's definitely not that. I mean, I do now have a direct connection to my PC, so... But, I mean, my network's also not amazing. It's it's good. It's decent. It's, it's above average, but it's in no way, like, godlike. But it's it's really just been the programs that have been giving me some uh, problems. But still living and learning, hanging on that edge. Tomorrow. The fuck are these footprints? Well, you know. Oh, I gotta get to you to ask how the fuck. Cause have you streamed your PSP uh, playthroughs? Ooh, I haven't tried that yet. I know that was like the the next thing I was gonna experiment. You actually. need to get that stuff if you can. If you get some research done in the lab there, get some uh, get some data to me because every time I try to fucking stream a PSP game, everything decides to die. I know there's definitely one game I definitely want to less play. And uh, I'll let you know, because, um... I uh, wanted man. to do Ape Escape on the Loose, which may or may not ever happen. Because I want Leon to do it, because he and I are big fans of Ape Escape. And I played oh. through... Wait, no, wait. Is it on the Loose, or... No, it's on the Loose. Punt and Prime's a different thing. And he never played the PSP version. And it won't feel like ass, because I can map the controllers to feel like just regular Ape Escape. Mm-hmm. Because that game did not feel amazing on the PSP. You just emulate like a criminal. Yeah, fuck, man. Struggle's real. Not, not just a criminal, like a smooth criminal. That's still a shirt that I'm going to create one day. Not for anyone but me. All the smooth criminals that have been created. What was the list again? It was the fucking main character from... Uh, fucking... Aria of Sorrow... This dinosaur tricky, and uh, the fuck's that little girl's name from Resident Evil Two? Fuck, she looks like Flapjack to me. Oh, never mind. I wouldn't. Never mind. I never played enough Resident Evil to know. Cheryl. Oh, he uh, Doggo wrote Sherry Birkin. Yes, that's what it is. <clears throat> Sherry Birkin. That was gonna drive me crazy. Oh, that's gonna be a while until I do anything PSP. Oh shit, I I'm... should send Doggo a link to the fucking, uh, Discord. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's, it's gonna be a while until I even mess with anything PSP. I'm, I still want to finish uh, some games on the Super Nintendo and some games on the PS1 that I got planned. Discord, and don't I... do this to me. It will. And, um, I got... I got two of ev well, we'll see if I can make it there, but there's two events I got lined up to or going to Orlando. Uh, one is a uh, CEO Winterfest, 
And the second one is uh, going to be an anime convention. I'm going to test my new camera. I got to put the Discord link down in the... I got to update the Twitter description. I'm oh, actually, to... I can talk to Jabaley, actually. Mr. Jabated Guy. On, you can on the... talk to Jabaley? What, do you have a personal fucking... You have him on... You have Jabaley on speed dial there, bro? <laughs> nah, man. He actually shows up to the... You know... He's a cool guy. He does his tournament. Well, he's originally from Orlando anyway, so. Fuck. Hold on. I'm going to be back on Discord real quick, so it fucking... Because whenever I decide to fucking paste something on Discord, it decides to die. So give me a second. I'm going to be, like, on it. Uh, like, right back up. Stupid fucking thing. Okay. Let's try this again. Be quiet, big. One day these footprints will appear. We will walk. Side by side through the sands of time. <laughs> there he is. My hey, there he is. <laughs> Say hi to everybody, Bob. Everybody. Uh, hi to everybody, Bob. Thanks. Thanks. Missed you. Missed you. Okay. Schedule this for like Thanks. March. Thanks. How was pizza? It was pizza. Did you eat some pizza? Did you play the Spider-Man Two theme? So I am I am actually going to I did forget to mention because uh so both of you that I also am going to Winter Brawl tomorrow. Oh nice. Oh that's this weekend? Yeah. Ooh, something I can I'm watch really hype. Stuff. I'm really hype for the fucking wind jammers guy because he's gonna be there. Oh. Which is? I shared a uh, I shared a video last year that I took from last year's winter brawl of like this dude wearing like Johnny Cage glasses. <laughs> he works with Big E and is a huge wind jammer mark and like fucking, like, he he goes he goes in like, he fucking goes he gets so hype. Like, everybody stops playing and pays attention. So I'm like, he's coming back. He has been at, he was at NEC last year as well. I'm like, yo, this guy's just here every year? Well, fuck. That's awesome. The Wind Wait, so where, 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 is where, is this, where is this held again? At the Clarion Hotel in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. So you're going all the way out to Pennsylvania? Yeah. Are it's you a two-day... It's I'm, a two-day event. I also forgot to ask you: Are you are are you still uh, down for our our summer plans? Well, what's the what are the plans this year? Because I'm not sure what we're are we are we doing too many games? Anime next or both? Probably just anime next. And anime next is only in like what the city, right? Correct. I have Leon knows all about it. I. Probably when March comes, I'm, I'm going to actually start to research it because we all know that that's just going to come down to me. And then I'm going to tell everyone, you fucking in? And then Dan will take a day off from work and come with us because fuck them. No, and honestly, after recently, I told Dan, like, straight up. Like, because here's the thing. Normally, like... What's going on? What's going on now? Is he is he still just being like no? Well, honestly, like stuff them. has been stuff has been like pretty good with him at his job, but like there was one thing that bothered me that he told me about, and he was he was he called me up at like eleven at night to vent about it. Yeah, and, that like, sounds like a problem if you're calling your friend at eleven o'clock. Yeah, night. but that's never happened like ever. Well, so what was it? I mean, like apparently, like his boss left him like a ton of paperwork that he was supposed to fill out that he didn't. So Dan had to stay an extra hour after 10 and like he got, he got out after 11 and I'm like, dude, that's bullshit. You should say something. 
like straight up you should because like, dan's so problem is like much. he keeps my accepting night like armor. it's not so much that he's working at cvs it's so much so that he's working night shifts i'm like you need to stop yeah, like he doesn't rather have control over like his shifts and it sounds like he can't even get any days off well what i'm yeah what i'm saying is like you need to start specifically and i gave him the real talk because I, again i don't really like at him about his job too much but i was just saying just take my advice like start at least requesting that you have like midday shifts if anything like stop closing for them all the time do it sometimes but make them like have to you know like make other people have to pull their weight you can't it's not fair that you're he the only to put one his closing foot down. he has all the leverage mm -hmm, yeah. that's what i tell to a, that's what i tell a bunch of my coworkers at target it's like You've put in your dues. You have all the leverage. If they fired you, they're gonna be in the shit. Yeah. Like I Dan told, I actually literally, literally has all the leverage. Like there's no reason why he has to be afraid. I think of he job. he did speak up, and he recently took like an extra two days off because of like a, a wedding that he had to go to for his brother, like and his and his brother's girlfriend. You know now they're married now. Um, but oh, that like, happened. holy shit. Yeah, that happened. So, uh, like it kind of came up. <laughs> snuck up on me too i was like oh yeah i forgot like dan brought brought it up once and i was like oh yeah. i haven't seen dan forever because you know I, i'm not the most important man in his life anymore well dan hasn't been seeing a lot of people so i don't feel no but i should be important to him though me <laughs> yeah I, he, I want I mean, him to be neatly folded he, next listen, to the Listen, he's still room. thinking about you. He kept asking me <laughs> He kept asking me to tell you about the memes he sent you because he was really proud of it. And it was actually really funny that he was really proud of sending you those dumb memes. My little boy! <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. like Well, he's no, coming I, with us to the vacation. I, I don't care. Like, he's no, taking I, I told the days him, off like, when he's coming. You need to go. Sick of it. Yeah. I'm going to go. Like, all of you were busy because you've all now turned into adults, and I'm semi-adult. I'm, I'm, I'm at semi-adult chode. You're, yeah, you're, you're, you're turning now. I mean, honestly, DJ... I still have a I'm, shitload of time to myself because my job's super inconsistent, like, which is fine by me. I make enough. Also, are you hunting current? Yeah, I'm still fucking trying to find these goddamn tracks. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain, but did you find my son? I found a nest that has a bunch of tiki masks. Oh, those fucks. And I the... found lava fish at, and, uh, guppy face? <gasps> it's my son! Guppy it's face is your son? Fro fro frog face. Frog face. Yeah. Holy shit, Nintendo. You're godlike with your fuck effing, um... Cute frog. Oh, uh, Dodogamo. Dodo Gama's my son, okay? What's a, what, what do you like? <laughs> he's cute! It, dude, like he... Okay, so when he's limping, and when... You know how, like, monsters just go to sleep? Yeah. I saw, like, with my very own eyes, his whole animation of going to sleep, and it is fucking adorable. He just... He scurries himself underground. Like, like he kind of just, like, shakes himself so that he's, like buries himself underground kind of in the ground so then his only his little heads peeping out and he's just sleeping and i'm like <laughs> does he do the snow run animation of oh it's so cold oh it's so cold yes yeah basically she's like oh, oh, i gotta dig i gotta dig <laughs> he's precious i love him and you have to protect him and he also i don't th i think he's one of those monsters like great jaggers who won't like fuck with you unless you fuck with him oh yeah. he's my <laughs> honestly the only thing that's like really annoying about him is that he's a blast monster blast blights a bitch oh yeah because it's like you have to roll three times to get blast blight off of you please game where are these tracks it's annoying like you have to search a guy high. that knows exactly where they are. You have to search high and low, but to honestly take this opportunity to find all the gathering points, because that, that, that way everything's marked for you if you have to find something. That's what I did. I was, like, getting really annoyed with the tracks. So I was like, at this point, you know what? I'm just going to go look for fucking mining points and bug points and whatnot. That way, 
I can take my mind off of it, and I'm just looking for all the gathering points, and then I, I run into. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> on a scale, Holy you don't even moly. have to fill. You don't have to fill the whole bar. You just have to wait for Richard Epcar to be like, "You could go back to Astera." I'm like, "Thank you, Richard Epcar." He's like, "Don't mention it." Oh my god! Why? What is that? Why do you make him sound like my puppet king? Hey what? guys! Oh, you not? <laughs> do you not know about Puppet King? No, what the fuck is you that? You know Jerry the King, uh, Jim Ross and Jerry the King Lawler? Oh, God, yeah. what? Yeah, so my voice for Jerry the King Lawler is, Ah, oh, puppies! Yeah. I like the boobies! Oh. And he just sounds like a Muppet. Oh, no. Is that him? Is that the Raplos? Huh? I found him! Oh, shit. No, that's Azure Rathlos. I actually wasn't expecting you to find that. He like, just came the... out of nowhere. I guess because it is like an expedition and monsters kind of come and go as they please. Expedition. Um, so yeah, Azure Rathlos shows up there. Hey, Not as annoying as Pink Rathian, at least in my opinion. Yeah, Pink Rathian's pretty annoying. Pink Rathian's a fucking asshole. I hate him. Hate him! Hate him. Social. Who left? It's oh six. Six blet. Wait, left. wait. There's a glow. There's a glow. There's a glow. There's a glow. Yay! You did it. I did it. Yay! The good thing is, is that you don't need as many of those to find Nergigante as you did for Pink Rathian. Heading home. Get through a cutscene and then we could do things again. Oh boy. Oh boy. I gotta do some more stuff with this Discord. It's so dead. Oh boy. <laughs> I feel bad. I gotta get. You put some. You get put your some boys strong... in. Wait, Bob, do you have your own Discord? Yeah. Fuck. I tell. Well, I have it for like the specifically the little fighting game people on Long Island. Who want a Discord? They were like, "Bob, make one." I'm like, "I guess." Why are you the guy that has to do everything? Cause I, I'm the TO. I'm. I have expectations. I don't. I'm fine with it. I have my own. I can contribute. So you saw the fucking emotes I contributed here. That's from there. I, I've made those. <laughs> the TN one. It's so strong. <laughs> I'm really proud of that one. I, I got even more. I don't know, man. Is it as good as Adon? Adon is pretty good. That one's really strong. Is it as like, good as uh, our boy, O'Doul? I got, I got Garfield. That emoji was too big. What do you mean it was too big? That's the one I used for the other chat. Garfield, you fat cat. Oh, that's stuffing, why. stuffing your face again as usual. I gotta eat a good meal. <laughs> Garfield. Oh, by the way, Bob. So, um, Chris from Reload Last Save Point that does a bunch of the editing for OSW Review. We're cool now. Um, mm -hmm. he is also a fan of Bones. Of of what? Of Bones. Of skeletons. Yeah, the the, the, the YouTube. Oh, Rice Knot! Oh yeah. my god! <laughs> I saw he was streaming the other day. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> so one night, cause like we um for the patrons, he has like a movie night and stuff like that. So he's like, all right, one night we're just gonna fucking do a, <laughs> a movie night of all the Bones trilogy. Oh my god. Wait, we watch he, he introduced another thing too. Fuck, hold on. You would love it. I think I put it in his Discord. I think I gave it to you. <laughs> random, did I put it in random videos? Oh, I did! You may have, you may know it already knowing you. Bob, uh... Hold on. Me. Right there. Let's see. I've never seen this. It's amazing. 
Holy shit! <laughs> is he just green? What the fuck is this? I'm. Uh, oh my god! I'm bookmarking this right now. <laughs> uh, I'm watching this shit. I'm, oh my god! Oh, that was strong. Like, like I just I, I I did the usual thing where I see a video that I've never like. And people are like, "Yeah, check this out." I like skip to the middle of it to see what I'm getting into, and they start from the beginning. But I'm like, "Oh, ooh, the part where I skipped to in the middle was strong, where he's wearing a MS paint suit that doesn't even fit him." And there's a PNG of a black guy. <laughs> like, what is happening? Oh, um. So what do I do now? How do I? I guess like, I should do like an expedition quest, or what's up? Um, do you have any optionals to fight any of the, of those? Well, actually, wait, so. I have Bezel Gase, Azur Raflos, Uragon. DJ! Yeah. Oh, there you are. What'd you want to do? Hunt Barrett Roth? I mean, I would like to finish your armor set. Um, that yeah, way I'm not to... bitch me because I still I just need what was it? Where's my wish list? Because all I need is just a bunch of Kestodon carapaces. Sure. And you can only get through those through investigations or complete the quests. Oh no! I have a higher rank quest to hunt Black Diablos. Not gonna fuck with that guy. Well, once I actually get good. And actually get my armor back up to speed. I can actually help you with stuff. Yeah. Just been a pain in the ass to figure out how to get the right stuff for this stuff. Well, what do you need now? Like, with from Baroth? I just need Kestodon carapaces. And then I can update my armor so, and get the Baroth breaker. So then we should just hunt Kestodons. Is that how you get carapaces? Yes. You just hunt Kestodons and you carve them. I think you get them from high rank, uh, uh, Kestodons. Let's do it. Let me yeah, see. Because I have I ha everything else, from what it seems like, well, right? Yeah. Let me let me see if I have any. Yeah, I have plus... enough claws, ridges, and yeah. Yeah, I think I might have an expedition where it's just hunt Kestodons, but I just gotta look around. I know I got a lot of dumb ones for Hornitors. Because I'm like. Kestodons are the. Uh... The, the, the big dumb rhino head boys. Oh, okay. Um, I think uh, or Triceratops head boys. I think they're in the what was it called? Um, maybe there's an optional for them. Let me check. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Mm, That's. I should have checked if we got it when we did that investigation. A meow for help. Thank you, game. Thank you, game. God damn it, game. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you, game. Um, yeah, no, I don't have a high rank one. I have to I'd have to do like uh an expedition and expedition. I'll have to shoot an SOS flare out so you could join. Ah, oh, I'll just wait around. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to check out the ancient forest high rank. Ancient By the way, I've been coming around the clumps again. Oh, yeah? Because he's just been hanging out with Pat. And clumps is fucking great. He is great. He's a fucking just, lovely boy. His videos boy. just come off creepy. Well, he's kind of... Well, he said... It's the thing. He's actually been having a podcast. And like, no, I actually listened to uh, the one they did with Matt. I started listening to it. Yeah, he... he ever, I think, feel like he, like, every podcast, he, like, gets... Really embarrassed about some of his older videos. Because he tries to kind of lower the creep factor down a lot. And the cringe factor. I mean, even Gaming Brit... I mean, he hasn't really been doing any interesting topics, so I'm like, eh. I still watch his stuff, because even if it's not... Oh, you're a, you're just a big fan of him. Yeah, even if it's not interesting, he'll talk about it and I'll be interested. I just love him because it's like, yeah, I do feel that way about Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> Yeah, I've been liking his Resident Evil uh, breakdown videos too. I think Leon would probably really get a get a kick out of them. It's like good side by side analysis of the first two Resident Evil games. He's gonna do more, I think, but 
Actually, now I'm looking at it, there is a bunch of stuff I could just watch. I watched In Defense of Milio Solid 4, that was good. Uh, when game box art gets sick and not so sick, that's probably one I would watch. I watch a bunch of the other guy when he puts up videos. What's his name? Hyperbit Hyper Hero. I love him. Because I watched his uh, fucking... Uh, he's actually live streaming right now, huh? He's actually in the Air Force. No, yeah, you told me. You told me. Yeah, I, that's why I, I want him to upload more, but he obviously can't. It's like, so that's why I really look forward when he does upload. I'm like, yes. The good boy. Oh, it's legit just his first stream ever. That's incredible. And he's just streaming Dreamcast. <laughs> of course he is. That's like his thing. Okay, let me see if there are any casted on. How weird. But yeah, I watch I watch his stuff because I uh, as I loved his Devil Man. Uh, your next favorite. That was really good. It was very good. Yep. Still don't care about that Devil Man anime. It looks like garbage. What, Crybaby? I, I don't like the art style at all. I mean, it is really, like, acquired. I don't think it looks like shit. It's just very, like, trippy This is the guy that weird. likes Super Jail. I don't like that animation style. It's very trippy. And, I mean, you should see his other animations, like Ping Pong, the animation. Ping Pong looks better than that, though. Mmm... Mm, I I actually really didn't like ping pong. I mean, like, I, I didn't get looked. into ping pong, but when I saw like when douchebag chocolate used to I be actually, alive, I actually I actually liked, I liked uh, uh, th this better because it looked more, I guess, like an anime than ping pong. But yeah, I'm gonna shoot out a uh a, a, an SOS DJ, so I guess look for look for SOS oh. ex expeditions. You shot it up now. Yep, right. there's Kestadons here, so uh, you can just uh, join. You just gotta, you just gotta search for it. It's an optional quest, right? It's an SO. No, it's a, it's a, it's an expedition. So you have to search for SOS Flare. No, I did, I did that. I just, it's expedition. Mm. And then look for uh, Toast Chan. The Kestadons are here. I don't see you. I guess refresh the search Respond to just. Respond to SOS. Preference rewards available? No, do it a uh, ancient forest high rank. Quest expeditions. Because SOSs can go from any server. Yeah. Target no preference. Okay. No SOS found. Hold on. Come on. Weird. Expeditions. Lost. Just... To I I found you. Okay. Which, which okay. camp should I go to? Uh, camp one. Yeah. The first camp. I mean, it's not far. It's actually like right by that little coastline area. There's just they're just hanging out. Ooh. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sit up here in the trees. In the trees. Stalking. The greens. The, the, the nature. <laughs> the forest. Beautiful. But yeah, it looks like anime next because we've gone to too many games like three years in a row. Yeah, I like it as a tradition, but it's, you know, if you want to change your pace, I'm all for it. And honestly, like, I, I feel like I've blown my... I don't want to bother everyone anymore. <laughs> I feel like I've blown my con load with uh with uh, too many games. Like, I think Anime Next is probably a bit of a lower key con, which I'm like, I'm all for. Because I like too many games when it was kind of that, you know what I mean? Like It still is more kind of that. Uh, yeah, I, especially compared to like Comic Con, I'm not saying it's that bad. So like I legit to... don't even want to. I don't even want to go near. Yeah, I don't. Well, I've been to it twice, and that's the only two times I have to go. You have to go. Like I'm, I went with Charlie, and it was not a good experience. I think I've told you that. Where Charlie kind of just. It wasn't a good experience, not not Charlie's fault, because, you know, I can't fault him for being at the thing, for doing what he wanted to do, which was cosplay, and have people take pictures of him. But he didn't want to go to any, like, panels 
or try any of the games or do anything. Like, he just kind of walked around and got pictures. Which, again, if you're... I'm not, I'm not saying, like, that's his fault. He went to Comic-Con. He was in a group. They were cosplaying as Scooby-Doo characters. Like, you know what? Go for it. I guess I just wasn't, like, expecting it to only be that. <laughs> yeah. So I kind of ended up, like, going off on my own and doing my own thing. Leon was there for, like, I think one of the days. But then, like, he kind of was also with another group. So they were doing cosplay shit. It was Leon like, was doing cosplay shit with them? Like, I think he was being, like, not, like, his, like a very minimalist thing. I mean, he was just around them. I don't know. It was before I really, like, knew him well. Oh. Um, well, that makes sense then. Yeah. But, like, I kind of was mostly by myself the whole, like, time. I'm coming. I, I was caught on video on one of Capcom Unity's videos. I don't know if I ever showed you that. No, you don't show me a lot of your things because you like to hide that pretty little face. I mean, it's still, you don't really see my face in it. You kind of just see it, like, my hair. And at some point we need to have a discussion because my girlfriend, who, no offense to Korean, I love him. Way better artist. And won't make you look like a Unabomber. Hmm. So, uh... We need to get details about your actual face. DJ, not, right here! And not just a description. Where are you? There you are. There's my boy. You'll scare them! Shut up, you big dumb idiots! Not your fault. Anyway. Yeah, these fuck boys. So yeah, we need to get a description of you that doesn't pertain to you. I'm a white guy with sunglasses and a hoodie. Well... I mean, what is her you art don't style? Like to, well, um, I'll show you some stuff of hers. She, so I'm investing in getting her tower fixed. Because so I want to still make money. I want to still keep the sunglasses, but I think the thing I want to go for is like a, you know, let's let's see. So, you know, like retro wave, like uh, 80s, hyper 80s, like Hotline Miami. Yeah. I love that fucking like synth wave art style. And I'm like, I want that for, like, my Twitch. Yeah, but you still gotta look like a shit ass. Yeah, that's fine. And as long as you, you look like a normal human being that's not out to rob banks. Yeah. I'm fine I, with that. I just want to look cool, that's it. Custodon Damn. scalp. Okay, this is working. Yep. And I know this was this easy. Good thing you, you have your boy. Has Leon been playing at all? I have not. I, I one time tried to ask Leon what his rank was, and he never responded back. <laughs> to his That's defense, so he's working a lot, and also he works out sometimes after he works, so I'm sure he's just done with a day at that point. Yeah. Which, by the way, are you going to be going with him? To work out? Yeah. Um, I think it... Ah! Because he goes, think... cause he goes <laughs> like, late at night. Like, he goes around, like, 5 when he gets out of work. It, it'd probably be maybe a bit earlier. Yeah. Right. Um, like, just because I get out at 3, so... I'd probably just go to Lee's house right from work since he's close to my job. And I don't really, like, need to shower before I work out. No, you'll be a sweaty pig boy. Yeah. It's like, there's no point in that. I'm just like, right now, like... And, I, and like, I'm probably going to talk to Lee about it next time I, I see him. Or, like, you know, like, talk to him in general. But, like, um, it's probably going to be just until, like, midsummer Because that's when my job gets, like, really crazy. But well, I want to at least... Gotta, well, you got to, like, keep to it. Otherwise, it's just going to go away. Well, I was going to say, like, well, no, that's the thing. Because I'm going to be working, that'll keep me... And, you know, I work labor. I work outside. I do work with my hands. I like, guess. That, that's you should basically, at least try to get, like, one day in. Well, yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. Like, and I told him... Well, I, 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 I'm going to tell him, like, I'll probably, like, pick it back up in, like, fall when shit slows down a lot. I mean, work. keep in mind, it's like... It, it, like if it's only just you over there, the work doesn't really take that long. 
what the workout yeah it's like what yeah it's probably not mo- like an hour like an like, hour at best like maybe like an for, hour and a half he said like is uh, he said it's like probably starts off at like hi hi big guy and you'll hate um, your life at first because you may not well depending on where he starts you i mean knowing me i was just completely immobile so it, oh, he, it, i felt it harder oh shit i found purple i did too that that means tempered monster Ugh. i hope that doesn't mean the tempered monsters here right now i think it does wouldn't it i think that just means you're gonna unlock an investigation to fight a tempered toby kadachi but i'm not really sure because, like, you only find one, and it doesn't have a meter that levels up. But you're probably going to be in the same thing that, that, that Leon was. You're going to do squats. Yeah. I mean, I'm already, I've worked out, like, before, so I think I might have that, like, little bit of an edge. And I would go with you, but I've already moved on to a gym because I just wanted to be able to do it whenever I wanted to. No, I feel you there. I mean, I've kind of been fucking myself over, and I probably haven't been doing everything exactly the best, but at the very least, I've been at least staying at 215, and while the weather has kind of interrupted me actually going and making me bitch me and not want to go, I'm trying to change that. I was supposed to go today, but fuck that rain. Even though it was nothing rain, and I was just being a little bitch. Yeah. Like Lee said, the one thing you have to be when working out is consistent or you're not going to go. No, that's what I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. like, like, it comes from experience. Like That's the problem. That's, that's why I, like, I think Lee would help me a lot because I, I ran Lee on the treadmill. Lee puts the fear of God in you. Yeah. I ran I ran on the treadmill for like uh, like a year and then like I, I dropped it because work you know got harder. Then I never picked it back up. I need that, like, extra motivator. Well, here's the thing. Lee's gonna, like, Lee's not gonna really be about weight. Um, I mean, what what you're gonna do is gonna help with it, but it's gonna be mostly about gains. Yeah. Like, like you know, it, strength and stuff like that. Well, he said that'll come, but he said, like, it'll at first be like that, and then, like, you know, he said it depends on, like, what I want, you know? Yeah. I told him to start off, I just want to lose weight. That's my main thing, and to get in a bit more shape. Make sure that I'm not like a oh god, he's pooping. But like, like if you want to like lose weight fast, like even he told me this, and I've been seeing like how I, it is. It's like just doing cardio is just like just the answer for that. But what mm -hmm. he's gonna have you do is just overall like better for your body. Oh yeah, because it's gonna work out like everything. That's the goal. Just get better habits, really. Yeah. Oh, also, a lot of that's Eat just gonna better. be ba that's just a lot of that's just, just gonna be you. Yeah, but again, I've, it'll I've had help. my highs and like the best thing, uh, advice that he gave me on it, and I and I still like use it to this day is like, just try to just make like at least one good decision a day. Oh yeah, just at least but, one. Just don't don't like eat fast food all day, which has been a thing I've been like mental about like for a little while try like, to get a calorie counter just so you have an idea of how much you're in, uh, ingesting a day there's like phone apps for that shit right that, yeah yeah because that's what I've been doing and keep in mind I don't use it like a bible I wish I did but sometimes I'm just like I can't with this gotta but, get like, gains my man but at, the, but at the very least if um if you see like how much calories you're taking in on something that you feel is so small like, it'll, like, make you more, like, huh. <laughs> and be like, maybe this is no. And yeah, maybe not. <laughs> this mm. is illegal, you know. Mm. Or as Michael Rosen would go, hmm. <laughs> Hi. But, yeah, man, it's weird. Like, I, I, I feel like this is, like, the year of, like, everyone get fit now. The year of top tier. <laughs> Yeah, um... Like, everyone's just kind of like, yeah, fuck this now. Fuck being fat. We need, to, we need to do shit. YOLO. I mean, I'm fine with 200. I mean, if it gets better than that, it gets better than that. But, like, I got to 200. It didn't really exactly last that long. That's kind of on me. But I've been consistently staying at, like, the 215, 220 ratio. 
That's um, that's less than me. <laughs> and going from 2:30, I mean, you know, well, that's the thing. It's like it's weird because, like, for me, like, I lost weight like very fast at first because just doing anything that's not out of your normal habit will like, make you lose weight. But then again, you do a lot of labor-intensive stuff, so I don't know how fast it'll be for you. It'll probably be faster just because of that. But, like, that's what I'm predicting. That's also why, like, in the summer, I'd probably just slow it down a bit. But it, that would only be for, like, a month or two. That's when it gets, like, real butt outside. You know what I mean? Like, when it's like, oh, I have to work out in the fucking humidity all day i don't want to that's do anything actually, when I get that's out actually work. better for what? you because the heat's gonna make you sweat more that's why that's what i mean that's what i mean but that like working out and that's probably even better for losing weight yeah that's why like whenever it's the summer i lose a lot of weight <laughs> like it that's how it usually goes for me is like when it's winter i'm like a fatty you should when try to summer use your bike around. during the summer too yeah if I get a bike. Don't you have one? I wish I did. I thought you did. That was a goal until car things happened. And then I was like... Eh. Was well, your car finally being fucking No, my, my my car's my car's been good. Uh, knock on wood, car's yeah, been good. Yeah, I was about good. to say, that's gonna die. Like, <laughs> like, it's, at, then it it's dies. It's gonna be the week <laughs> of anime next, and your car's uh, gonna be like, well... Uh, yeah. Then it dies tomorrow. Well, for long trips, I've actually been taking my sister's car. And my MIGF is coming this year, so that's an extra person. Nice. Oh, cool. Yeah. Julio. Coolio. What Omar. art style does your sister? Does your, why would yeah, what art style sister? does my sister? Your girlfriend. Your girlfriend. What is she, like, mainly good at? Like, anime or whatever? She does a lot of, like, kawaii looking anime stuff, but she's, like, varied. Cool. She just needs more of an excuse to, like, do stuff. That's why, like I said, I'm trying to, like, fix her tower. So she can actually, like, maybe go, like, Oh, make money on the side, because you have talent. My tower? Her, uh, she, uh a PC tower that she has. I'm just gonna, like... Oh. I'm giving it to, like, Lee and Lee, uh, or Leon, because they're smart boys, and being like, Hey, tell me what to get, and you install it, because you're smart. Yeah. I also have to go to Joe's at some point. No, you don't. Up. I had to pick up the ta the, the, the laptop. That's it. No, oh. offense, no offense to Joe, I'm done. I don't care anymore. That's I what I mean. Like, I'm like, dude, if I get a new laptop, which might happen in like a year. No, don't, like, no, don't even go to him. No. I'm not. No. Okay, so, and let me explain why. Because ever since he put all that weird shit after reboot merging my, uh, my hard drive, my computer's been acting really weird. Like, it'll take, like, two minutes for Final Fantasy XIV to start. I'm sure and it I, does. There's no reason for it. It just happens. YouTube won't play on Google Iron, so I have to use regular Chrome. Um, I'm better off using anyway. Yeah. But, like, no, it's weird. Everybody else doesn't have problems with Iron. Everybody keeps saying Iron's good. But the thing is, is that the Joe Grams, I don't even want to go in there and... Like, I don't want to go through the rigmarole. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just like, I'll do the easy, quick thing and just use Chrome, get the add-ons I want, and then we're You're going to go hang out with Lee, and you're going to realize that Lee's very smart when it comes to computers. In fact, that's how Leon found out all the stuff that he knows. That's basically the so, gist that Lee gave me when I when we were driving home from too many games. Like, basically everything I was talking about with Leon, and then Lee was like, yeah, well, you know how he knows how to do that? Because of me. <laughs> yeah. And you Lee's been helping me with my stuff. Which I'm like, you know what? That's and I like wish he, he took my money, but he doesn't. And he was actually saying the other day at the tournament, he was like, like basically saying like, you notice the DJ has like higher self-confidence? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like you have like a girlfriend again, like, and you're happy. It's good shit. No, dude, like if anything happened it's in a... 2017, it's like I got a lot of shit together. And you, you turn, I, you I said, around. I said it to him like during the Christmas stream because I gave like everyone gifts. I also gave you a gift, but you know he didn't show up for it, huh? <laughs> and the when one thing, you... remember that fucking shirt that's still fucking here for you? Yeah, I need to get that shirt. Do you need what to is... get that shirt? What the fuck? 
What the fuck landed here? Oh, nothing. It was but yeah, I was, I was like fire. telling him, it's like, dude, like, I, I put in the work, but like, I have, like, you to thank for a lot, like, just being able to, like, because there was one day that I, I, I got to him and he was like, I want to punch you. And like, you know, I know that I, you know, at, at times I can be, it takes a lot, but sometimes I can, I, I, um, I put things in a way that's not really understandable if it's hard, and it's hard to understand like what my point is or what I'm trying to say or convey. Yeah. And like he, he put up You're a like lot of me, that. you're not you're not good with your words. Yeah, I'm trying to be. I, I actually want to be a lot better with, with that stuff because you know I'm getting I'm getting a bit better too. I'm still not as good as I could be. But I'm like, trying to t cut out basically so I don't say it a thousand times in one sentence. Yeah. I'm yeah. <laughs> I really, I really like Lee though, and you know what? If I, he's offering to do this for free, so I'm just like, I'm and, th really and that's what I told him too. It's like, like you know, he doesn't have to do any of that for us, and you know, he, no, he, he did. He did. So he's just a really nice, chill guy. He also doesn't just do it for anybody. Yeah. So, you know, he, he just he like says he would probably tell Joe to fuck off if he asked. Yeah. Like he 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 loves what I do with the tournaments and stuff, so he's like really. Like, willing to help me out. I'm just like, that's awesome. He's a, he's helping me out in both that and just helping my team out. Because he's a guy who knows fighting game stuff and can do commentary and not flake. Like, our actual commentators. Look, I love Marcus and this other guy, Artemis. Artemis being the YouTuber, I actually think I brought up to you once. I think so, yeah the dbz guy but like i love those guys but like they are flakes yeah like yeah. he they are they are the flakiest people if there's one thing that lee is he is very if he says that he's gonna do something he's gonna do it well yeah he actually said that like he's, he's a man he's a man of his word hey which what's i that? appreciate yeah he explicitly said like he he you know like I said, like, will you be able to make it to, like, almost every tournament unless you, like, just give us, like, heads up in advance? He's like, well, I already said I was going to do it, so, yeah. I'm like, wow, holy shit. <laughs> that's why I, and, and that's why I hang out with people like that now. Are you trying to capture him? I think they did cap him, yeah. Did you? Yeah, you did. Nice. Well, we got him. Got a little more rewards. There's a, I find another purple thing, so I think some think fuckers around here. Probably is a tempered Toby Kodachi. Uh. Which would be bad news, because those, those guys hurt. <laughs> if they're tempered, they hurt a lot. They don't actually, they're not much harder than their normal high rank versions, they just hurt more. Those fuckers can bring on bad day. I mean, I'm getting like blue marks, which indicates, oh wait, no, no, it's a tempered poop. Yeah, yeah, oh. the blue marks have been tempered. I, I, I got one too. Okay, so we didn't fight a tempered one though just now, so. No. I think these just give you expeditions. Expedition. No, no, expeditions, investigations for tempered ones. Tempered ones are really optional, like if you want to do it, you can do it. That's basically what, what they're they there give for. You? Um, I forgot exactly what it is, but they I mean, drop. They gotta give you something special. They they have a chance of dropping a specific thing relating to like crafting or whatever, enhancing your weapon. Gaijin Hunter and uh, RX Gaming, those two channels, they do like videos on that and more. This drives me crazy. Gaijin Hunter is not Gaijin Goomba. No, he's not. Okay. Also, I I like Gaijin Hunter. Uh. Because that was just driving me crazy, because it's like, <laughs> I keep on hearing that, it's like, is it him, though? Yeah, Gaijin Hunter is a good dude. Like, uh, Gaijin Goomba is a, uh, apparently he's he's not a great guy, I keep hearing. Like, the more time goes on, the more I hear bad things about him. <laughs> but, I mean, I uh, see what you can do to people, and it's it's a very frustrating job that takes a lot out of your life. And yeah. I was letting it do that to me, and it was making no money. <laughs> That's, yeah. So, I can it's, only imagine for them that struggle. And YouTube and really, doesn't make anything easy for anybody. It does not. Yeah, like, that's the problem with YouTube as a whole is, like, you know, when you're in, you're in. Then you're fine. Or well, even then, that's no guarantee. Well, yeah, like, exactly. Even nowadays. Though. I would have even said, I would have said that, like, maybe two years ago. But, like, not now. No. 
By the way, like, I'm finding a Rathalos. Oh, shit. Where did you go? Up in the trees. Oh, uh, yeah. Just... Like I said, I'll probably be uh, driving up at, like, 10. I told the guys to come here between 10 and 11, so just expect me around, like, then, you know? Like, pro... Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> I think it'll be good for you, too, because, like, your confidence will be raised by the uh, experience with Lee, too. Yeah. TOing has honestly increased my, t my confidence a lot already, so this will probably only help improve... Enhance it, if you will. Lee's just but, very like, wise. He's very wise. The guy's, like, really chill. He actually offered to help, like, is, like... Okay, so to kind of go over, like, a lot... One of the things that went wrong was, like, number one, I couldn't be there for the whole thing because work kind of was being, well, work. Which is why, I, after this, I put my foot down with my boss. I'm like, listen, I need the Sunday after the next tournament off. Like, I'll work that Saturday... But then I need that. You're not Sunday being off. too firm to because you still haven't gotten full time, right? No, I'm not being too firm. That's why I said just the ones I like. I told him. Wait, is this the, your? Wait, is this the truck? Is this the delivery thing, or is this the, the boat delivery thing? thing's over? I, because I, I got my over. forty hours back at my main job. Is that like, open to you if that ever changes again? Basically, I mean. Oh, that's if, nice if then. Stewards, if you have an, if you have an if, open if door. We left on good terms. Well, I left on good terms. I didn't give him a reason to to dislike me. I did my job. Did you I tell him it's, it's to like I, maybe I can work with you again. And I said like if it if it gets slow again, maybe I'll come back. He's like, yeah, we are always looking for delivery drivers. I'm like, yeah, yeah. It, it was you know I mean I didn't really like him that much, but hey, it was it was a job. And I can't really complain. <laughs> you seemed it, fine. It didn't, it didn't seem. Yeah, like no, it was honestly like much. the least. The only thing, the only time it was irritating was like the scheduling. Because that was a bit all over the place at first. He was giving me, like, way too much to, like, it wasn't really bouncing out with, like, you know, my main job. So I was kind of like, I had also, to put my Also, you foot seem down. like the type that are better with jobs that you don't really have to have any interaction with. Not to, not to make you sound, like, crazy, but you work better when you don't really have to interact too no, much No, that's with, not, that, that, yeah, like that's not customers crazy. and shit. Yeah. That ain't crazy. That's just, that's a lot of people. People, actually they don't like i mean it's good for you to do that though because i because now because nowadays i always look for it as like a challenge to be like let's Hold talk up. like a DJ, normal person dj these are boys that you're looking for what boys or right, you should probably get away from rathlos come back to the shore where are you oh you're all together yeah you need you need kestodon right oh that's right they respawned yeah they respawned get them, get them, get here you can you just get, tell Rathalos you just take a take a take a take a short break. I hope these guys don't beat them up. But yeah, I like it because it's like okay, let me talk to people and learn how to talk. Well, no, that's more. basically what my main job is, more or less. Like, which that's why like the delivery one was kind of a brush with fresh air because yeah, I basically kind of just did my own thing. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you have interactions at the boat job, really? I what at the delivery? Oh yeah, because I have coworkers. I have people, other people there. Well, and coworkers my boss. are, I mean, I guess and, they're and the people, same, people, but I, I feel like they're the different. People in the public, like people who own boats at the marina. That's true. Some sometimes they'll you know they'll come. We have our regulars. They come around. They strike up conversations. They're nice guys. I mostly just avoid the the douchebags like. Like, uh, the boat owners who will come up to you and be like, Oh, I need my slip moved five times. <laughs> Your Shut slip up, move? Like, like, a slip, like where you keep a boat. Oh. So there will be, like, the specific I felt people. like each boater has, are... like, a move that, that involves a slide. Like, what there'll the fuck be... are you talking no. about? <laughs> there will be these specific people who are never happy and just, like, always want to be moved around because some things. Like, this, this slip is five centimeters too big for my boat it is killing me it needs to be moved. so people that want to start shit for no reason other yeah than basically shit. Yeah. 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 bottom feeders i hate people like that but you know you have to deal with them it's it's not that's as bad as, that's <laughs> not as bad as, but honestly i've worked retail and it was a lot worse so i'm really thankful that it's not that bad coming from the retail job that i have right now i mean it evens out because for the majority, well, like, I have like, people that you enjoy working with. Yeah, and also I do work like 
morning shifts where for the most part i really don't have to interact that much with guests that's actually the same thing with dan's job believe it or not like him and his co-workers get along so well and it like oh my co-workers are the best yeah it makes me jealous because he also has our friend like herbie works there too so it's like even as like friends who work there it's well, like i don't know like well life. it's it's a little of um you, you could find people that have similar interests like our new friend tj we call mm-hmm. Tall Jake. We'd like to call him BJ for Black Jake, but you know. Tall Jake. <laughs> <laughs> and uh and you know, you have similar interests there and stuff like that, and then like everyone else you kinda just develop like a kinship with them. Yeah, there are definitely some people like that at my job, but most of them are like most of the people at my job are like middle aged or like idiots. <laughs> I'm better off not associating with Oh yeah, an, a- an age gap like to be honest, I think, like, for the most part, like, me and Frenchie are, like, you know, because we're, like, 24, and then, like, half of our other co-workers are like, oh, yeah, I'm, like, 19, I'm, like, 20. I'm like, fuck. Well, that's, like, my FGC. Like, we have a guy uh, in, uh, who's, who's, uh, his, like, tag is Blackstar, but his name's Mikey. He, the kid's, like, fucking 17 Mikey! years old. So he couldn't go to Winter Brawl because he got grounded and I'm like, God damn, I've never, I, not never, but I have not heard that excuse for someone not being able to go to a thing in, in like years. And it made me forget, like, How I forgot before he? that he was 17. Oh. He's in, he's in, so you, you want to, by the way. That's still a little old to be grounded, but you know. Well, he fucked up really bad. That's why, he, hold on a sec, one sec. Oh boy, I found him. Oh no. Oh man, Chili already died. Fuck! I guess we're doing this. Oh no, we've woken up the beast. Okay. Oh fuck. I hate this monster so much! You alright there, buddy? Yeah, I'm back. My 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 headset has a tendency of just wrapping itself around like the fucking like <laughs> like bottom of my chair. You know, like how it's oh like the, yeah yeah yeah. And it yeah, because it's a long cable, so it's like you know, really annoying. But uh, were you also yeah. gonna go look on getting a tower too this year or something? That's a pi- that's been a pipe dream forever, and that's gonna happen. Just like not Dude, yet. Dude, just start putting the money to the side. I'm probably gonna, because here's the thing. Like at most, it'll really... cost you like five hundred dollars for all the insides. Yeah. At what, the very what... least, and you'll have a decent running PC. So I was actually kind of stressing out recently because um, like, I'm trying to get all my dental work done before I get off my parents' insurance. So, oh, by the like, way, gonna... I mean, I don't know if you'll be qualified, but if you want, I can recommend the place that I have my insurance from. Yeah, I might actually think about that, but uh, for I mean, right now... I don't now... know if it'll be different from you. I don't think it will. Yeah, for now, like, I'm just trying to get it out of the way, so I don't have How to worry about it again? for a while. 25. How are you still on it? Because it's, they, when I... Cause like the the old cutoff oh, date. Oh, it was goes tw- until twenty six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the old cutoff date was like twenty four, but then they changed it to twenty six, so then it was like I'm fine. But yeah, like I was saying, um, so basically, like I almost was fucked because. Fuck. Oh no, you got wrecked. Jeez. I hate this. Do you have like all the stuff? Cause we could probably just end the expedition. Let me check. Cause I need a bunch. Because, I mean, if worst comes to worst, we can just go back to the shore and see if there's more Kestodons. Um, Because we can kind of just do whatever in these, you know? Six, like, seven, eight, nine. Ten, I need two. And then, okay. I have, and then I have enough for anything. They probably I, respawned by now. Yeah, I'm running down to the shore, so um, I'll see if it's sure. there. I, I know Jagras is r- r- running around, so we could just ignore him anyway. <laughs> but uh, what was I saying? Yeah, like, it, it, it's really just... Oh, wait, wait, no. What was I talking about? Sorry, I, like, lost... Insurance. The... Dental. Oh, life. yeah, yeah. So, so basically, 
like I got all my all my uh, cavities filled recently, which I had like a a couple, but like they weren't like bad, thankfully. Because I, I don't go. I, I don't take go. I don't take shitty care of my teeth. It's just the fact that I like do. I, and it's I just the fact a shitload of candy. Well, yeah, like I mean, when that happens, yeah, good luck. But my thing was like I took care, okay to care of my teeth, and okay. I've, like I haven't been going to the dentist like for, in years. Then we yeah. got literally all of it done, and by the way, they're Kestadons. They're here. Yay. The whole family here. But uh, basically, we're also trying to get my wisdom teeth removed, or any wisdom teeth that need to be immediately removed. You never got those removed yet? Nope. Oh, um, dude. That, there's like, that life, that, that you're going to hate your life for like two days. I know. You Which is, should make so, sure that you cannot, that you don't have to work. I know. So here's what sucks about that, though. We called the dental surgeon like a month ago about this. We and he said, you know, like, oh, we'll get back to you in a few days. A few days turned into a month. He just called me like today and was like, you have to get like the the closest date we can do is in fucking like next week in on Wednesday. And like, what sucks about that is I. Have to go to Winter Brawl like tomorrow, and I took like an extra two days off because we're going to be in PA. I'm and, letting like, you know right now, it's not impossible to go to work. You're just going to hit. No, that's what I mean. Off. I'm not going to work for after that. So, like, um, I'm already taking days off, and the timing's just shit. So then I asked oh, him, I'm like, sure. is there any possible way I could like push it back? Like, he's like, the latest we could push it back is like in May. And I'm like, holy fucking shit. And that's like past the cutoff date, which is April 28th. Why is your doctor so annoying when it comes to these schedules? Because like apparently they're like annoying. packed, which is why it took them like a fucking month to even get back. So I'm like, you know what? find a place that takes your insurance. Honestly, honestly, no, 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 no. Honestly, it's fine. Because then guess what saved me? What? My tax return. <laughs> yeah, but you don't want to pay for it. I'm not. My, no, my mom's paying for that. But what I'm saying is I'm losing money because I'm not going to be working. That's That was what I was worried about. But now oh, I, I, I thought I, you were worried because you didn't want to take more days off. Oh, well, I didn't. Yeah, just because I didn't. I don't want to lose, like, paydays, you know? Like, because I'm already oh, losing, like, there. I'm losing two days from, two extra days from this trip to PA. And then, like, I'm going to probably lose, like, a day or two because of... The fucking tooth shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm up, hoping. Right. What I'm hoping for is that everything is fine and I don't need to get them out. But I have a feeling that's not the you case. You need to get them out in general. Yeah, that's what they're I mean. Gonna, they're gonna I, tell you just get them out. Yeah, that's what I mean. Because so mine I'd weren't giving me problems. It. The doctor just said, "Yeah, you should just get them taken out." It's around that time. Well, that's ultimately like the decision of the surgeon because he's gonna look at it and see which one's like irritating my teeth, like. The most. Does it feel like your teeth are curving? No. Thankfully not. The only thing that... The only problem I ever had with my wisdom teeth was one of them, specifically my bottom left one, um, was was uh, uh, peaking. It was like crowning. Right. So, which basically means it's like jabbing up against like the side of my gum and like it irritated the gum. And the oh. gum thought... The gum thought that, like, a new tooth was growing there, so it basically made extra room for a tooth that isn't that big. So there was extra gum. It was like a big flap of gum in the the bottom left of my mouth, and it lasted a month. It fucking sucked. No, that sounds... It almost happened this year, but I was really, really paranoid about what I ate. And, like, when I brushed my teeth, I made damn sure after every meal I brushed my teeth and that shit went away in, like, a week because I kept up on it. But, like, that was a problem is that, like, if that starts happening, you can't, you cannot get a piece of food or anything stuck in there. It will, it will uh, irritate it and it will grow. So that's why you have to, like, make sure when that does happen, you have to, like, fluoride every time after you eat. Get that shit out of there and then you're good. But way, uh, that's good what I now. mean. Yeah, cool. So we could just uh, get out of here then. Yeah, I'll, uh, really I'll end the expedition. I'll return, return. To expedition. Yep. So you make the set. Nice. 
So basically, upgrade the shit out of it, and you should be good. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but look, it. Yeah, no, like, um, it really does suck, though. Like that, I mean, you know, that it, I have to take all these days off. But like I said, there's two benefits to it. Number one, you is that probably just, afford it, right? Yeah, yeah. The 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 tax return, it's fine. No, I mean, I even without I, the tax. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, you'd I'd still just have, be I'd, low on cash. Yeah, I just, you know, yeah. I just can't go crazy, which I really haven't been. So, like, it, I, I just hate losing out, on, missing out on work. But then the other thing that kind of, like, makes it okay is that the work season, none of the marinas are really open right now. So, honestly, most job, honestly, like, most of the winter work is winding down. So it's like there's not much going. We're kind of in a lull period. That's what we're about really to say because it's like I know you're not really... a whole lot going on. So if I'm if I take a few days off, it's really no big deal. Yeah. Like like honestly, there's like so, like we got so much done over like the past two months in the workyard that like they don't need me in the work. They were planning on keeping me in the workyard for the whole winter and not the marina, but now they're just bringing putting me back in the marina with my boss. Because we just have work we got to do over there. And it's like, they, they're not explicitly saying that I'm back at the marina yet, but they're basically saying that they're yeah. implying. So, yeah, I'm happy. And uh, I'd rather just get this out of the way now before everything gets crazy. No, you might as well. Yeah, so it's it's honestly, and I'm going to take it off as, I'm going to take it as like a kind of like a sanity break. You know what I mean? Like, I could probably <laughs> fucking blow through more Monster Hunter and like, trails in those days <laughs> like yeah but um i'm glad it's at least happening like before the insurance runs out and after this weekend because i'd be so pissed if i got my teeth work done before winter brawl i'd be miserable so um, yeah yeah you just gotta look at the bright side that's really it Stop. but uh What's up? Uh, because of the bear off breaker, I need to get more fucking ridges. Ah, uh, no. Oh well, well. What? How many more pieces do you need of the armor? I need three bear off plus ridges. Well, I think I have an expedition for that, which uh. will make it easy. Not an expedition. I mean, a, a an investigation. It'll make it easier. Well, I got my new bear off breaker. Bad off the brick. I might go for the engine off. I don't know if I can even do the engine off hammer through through this one. I might just have to start a new hammer upgrade. We'll see how good the engine off breaker is. It seems good. Um, if it has a minus fifteen percent, that's not the best. I know Anjanath weapons are kind of well, so I know basically they have like fire on them. Yeah, but if you see like affinity is like minus fifteen. So basically what that means is low affinity means you'll sometimes do less damage than you want to do. It's like a it's it's like an opposite critical hit. Let me see. Let me see the stats on this thing. I, I, I only say I really that because pay attention they, to that stuff, honestly. Yeah, I know. I just figured I'd mention it in case, you know. No, I wanna actually survive and not have to have a hard time with shit. Yeah. I the mean, more... stuff takes long as it is with the hammer. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. I'm just taking... I'm just organizing items. Equipment. Also, Marlin apparently hit someone with a fucking... A mega, mega fucking, pa like, page text of shit. Rarity 5. Uh, attack is 987. Uh, affinity is affinity is minus ten percent. Defense is one hundred and seventy. So is that good or yeah, it's bad, right? Mm -hmm. Then what the fuck? Upgrade weapon. I have this iron hammer. What can I do with it? So, so what's the goal here? I want to get an affinity of not negative. <laughs> like, is that the goal? Frozen core. 
So many of these hammers I don't even know the stats for. <clears throat> I could do the iron hammer too. I guess I could do, let me see what I could do with that. Don't equip now. Iron hammer. Wait. I could do an aqua hammer. Blooming hammer. Which has poison. Jiro's hammer. Bone budget would just bring me back to where I was. Bon hammer. Bone strike. Kulu breaker. Oh, Kulu breaker. Oh, Kulu beak, I'm sorry. Holy shit. Kulu Beak has like 25% affinity. <laughs> oh, the Diablo Sledge has like fucking 1019 attack though. But the bad part is it's like negative 25% affinity. <laughs> so that's so so having affinity is better than having better attack. No, if you can have both, that'd be great. Honestly, they go hand in hand. Like, if you have good affinity and good attack, then you'll do a lot of damage. Some weapons actually do have that. But, um, I guess like, you, 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 if you have enough raw damage, like, if there's enough raw damage to make up for the affinity drop, it should be fine. Like, because, again, if it's just minus 15, it's really not a big deal. I only just mentioned that. No, no, I feel you. Yeah. I don't want to be Marlin, because Marlin's, like, fucking is a, uh, uh, like, like, a, the grammar Nazi, but for hunters. <laughs> yeah, man, knowledge is, knowledge is power. Yeah, I don't really, I, I just play the game, and I just do get the skills I want. <laughs> oh, I can't even get down to that anyway. I'd have to craft a, a bone bludgeon, which I can make. I'll stick with this for right now. We'll see what happens. I was just curious. All right. Uh, did you put the quest up? Uh, just sex. Sorry. No, you're good. I was just picking <clears throat> up the armor thing. Mm -hmm. I might get that Heracross armor. Uh, the, the, I think I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, the one that makes you a big bad beetle warg. <laughs> Let's see. Pony. Oh. What are those guys doing right now? The creators oh. of Big Bad Beetleborg. What could they be up to? Johnny. And... Where's Jotaro? Three typical average kids in a haunted mansion. All right, Hunt of Baroth. So here's the catch. This quest can only die once. Don't die. Uh. I mean, it's bear off if you die, uh, die. I mean, it's hard to <laughs> die from a bear off. He's kind of a boy. All right. It should be a problem. I'll just... Yeah, but there's, like, some good rewards from this, so... No, no, so I'll... I'll Let's play see. it safe, cool and chill. <laughs> with Cooler's Revenge. Play yes. it safe with Cooler's Revenge. So, you know what I wouldn't be upset about if the next DLC pack is, is uh, Cooler... cooler and Janemba, I'd be like, that's that'd be strong. Cause what what at least what Broly tells me is that like they're they're not opposed to using movie characters. Bob, they're gonna use the movie characters. He's like, oh, I know that guy. He's from the thing. Well, a lot of people were worried that they were just gonna go with like the canon guys, especially because Kefla is basic and Kale is basically canon Broly, like except a girl. And well, I'm they like, haven't really been giving much love to Super besides, uh... No, I think it's... It is weird. Like, I think they gave a lot of love to, like, Goku Black and Hit in terms of their, like, moves. And but Beerus. I mean, in terms of, like, the Super cast. Well, I think because those are coming. I know Jiren's definitely going to be DLC. It's honestly smart, too, because you know people will fucking buy Jiren. Well, from what I understand, there is, like... I mean, not that it really matters 
says anything, but they're like uh, from two best friends podcast. I know they said so there's like 48 slots, and yeah. Pat did bring up a good point where it's like the characters really don't have that many moves, so they're not exactly breaking the bank when it comes to having to create characters. It's really just the models. Yes and no, because here's the thing about that, and I think Woolies brought this up a few times. The 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 process of them creating a single character in that engine is apparently very strenuous, which is why they don't make multiple like costumes Aww. for each character. Because you 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 wanna know why, right? In order to get the two D effect to look right, they need to uh well actually the quest is not up, let me post it. For some reason it didn't post. Thank you, game. <laughs> anyway. Um like in order to get the effect that it looks 2D without being 2D, they have to do some intense shading. And, like, they need to get it right, especially depending on, like, what environment you're in. And apparently they have to do that, like, by hand individually. It's it's very, very tough. Yeah, but like, once you do the model... Like, again, oh, like, but that, that's what I mean. They have to do, like, a different shader for every stage for that individual model. So it's, it's a lot of like shading and detail that's very seeming very minor, but apparently takes a lot. Yeah. It really, which is why I, I think it's smart that they opted out for small move sets for a big roster. I think it's fine. Like if anything, like weirdly enough, I think characters do have big move sets. It's just the key button moves aren't listed. Like, like every, well, some characters have like, fucking four moves or five moves that use the key button piccolo definitely does so that like, makes go sense then because i've seen like his above air chop i'm gonna get you with the shoulder yeah i like i like piccolo's move said people have been like like using hell zone grenade i'm happy i thought that move like sucked at first but then i'm like oh hell zone grenade has always I been see. the ship yeah forever um I think I, I'm a little upset that it's not as level three, just a light light grenade is, but I guess that's the cool move he did against seventeen that one time. Yeah. Actually technically most of his moves are that cool move he did against seventeen that one time. <laughs> because you know, otherwise has only been doing special beam cannon. One one bit of super love that I actually like that they did, they gave him the teleporting special beam cannon. Which I thought was I really cool. I haven't seen that one. When he fought, uh, did you, are you up to the, uh, the Universe 6 tournament in the dub? Are you talking about Super? Because I still haven't said that. Super. Down. Okay. Piccolo actually, it's not really a new move, but it was like, he basically modified his special beam cannon to where he can charge it while teleporting around. And that, that was, it was really cool. And like, I, I still think he was robbed in that fight. Anyway, um... Like, he actually, they gave him that that move in, in Fighters. Because when you're, when you're charging Special Beam Cannon, you can, like, if you press left or right, he'll, like, teleport left or right. And I'm like, that's really fucking cool. There's, like, little bits of super love here and there. The blue characters definitely have super love. Like, <laughs> super lovers, oh no. <laughs> Goku actually has the move... Go Goku Blue has the move that he did on Frieza, like the very first move he did on Golden Frieza, where he just like teleports right in front of them and does a one inch punch. That's a command grab, and it's fucking awesome. I haven't played with them yet, and my girlfriend got me the collector's edition. They're like way more different than you think, which is why I wouldn't be upset if they did like normal Vegeta or normal Goku, because I know their fucking movesets would be radically different. Like, the Frenchie, only th by the way, I, I, I for some reason I'm, I'm now thinking like that sounds kind of dickish, even though it, it shouldn't come off that way. What do you mean? By addressing addressing her as girlfriend. That's fine. No, I don't know. It feels like it comes off pretentious. Just that, say her that name. Could ju yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I'm just gonna say. I should just say Frenchie. Her name is Frenchie. Well, it's Francesca, but everyone just calls her Frenchie. I just call her French fry. Francesca. Get it? Cause we have pet names. Cause we're kids. Honestly, yeah, you should you should say her real name just cause I'm bad with names. <laughs> I should just say it in general. I don't know why. Cause I I. I... Cause then you're just enabling me being bad at names. Well, I'm worse. 
Oh, hey! Ah! <laughs> oh, no! A ghoul. A ghost. A, a specter. Oh, by a the way, Bob, Bob, when you come over to my house for WrestleMania, which you better do, you'll notice that I have the... April 4th, right? Yes, I have okay. a new I have a new animal friend. I found Beppo. Hi, Baroth. I see you just jumping around in the wasteland. He is jumping around because like I'm beating the like shit out of like, him. Like, oh god! Like uh, he looked so graceful, and then he stumbled over, and I'm like, oh, DJ's Beppo. beating him. Beppo. Beppo. So. <laughs> you remember that the longsword style? That that shit Leon found. Jesus! <laughs> I was watching that the other day. I'm like, some things didn't hold up in the video, but some things really, really fucking did. Oh yeah, he hardly does any damage. He's he's bitch made. Yeah. They didn't make him stronger or anything. You just can't die. I'm like, okay. Oh look, I'm on him. Hey, you boy. Hey there, spirits. It's me. Yo boy. Yo boy. <laughs> I found that somewhere. Someone did that. There's like, there's a video. Some YouTuber does that as his intro. <laughs> Forget who it is. It's me. Yo boy. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that almost a gimmick to where like everyone's like, yo boy. I mean, Bob has so many gimmicks. I mean, our, our favorite one is, is Bobby's bedtime. Well, my my most recent like and gimmick bedtime I've been, collusion. My most recent gimmick has been uh, specifically uh, the dumb MS Paint Garfield videos. Yeah, you have been using that. Yeah, oh, okay. I gotta eat a good meal. <laughs> Odie, <laughs> there was. Get out. I'm there gonna was... kick you into the stratosphere, you stupid mud. There was Swamp Bob for a while. There was Baja yeah. Bob. I'm a cat who loves to snooze. There was Baja Bob, the Australian platypus. Yeah. And now I'm Bobby Blanco. <laughs> Bobby Blanco. <laughs> I gotta go fight the great Padre. <laughs> the grand Padre. I don't fucking get that meme at all. Nobody does, but it's, it's, it's a thing. It's fine. I just think it's funny. It's dumb. That's all that really matters. Yeah. I, I get it. So, I've also, I will say, I'm not caught up on Super, but, like, I am caught up on the fucking Super manga. It's pretty different, in not in, in, not in a bad way. That's what I've heard. I think you're the one that told me that. I think it's actually a little more, uh, in so, not in every way. I think the anime actually does certain things better. That's being made is, by the guy that does really good Dragon Ball Z fan, like fan comics. comics. And yes. he was like, you're good, get uh, in. Toyo Taro. He actually does... Yeah, really good work. I think the only problem is the manga just focuses a little too on much Vegeta. on Vegeta and Goku. No, I love Vegeta. Don't get me wrong. I think not enough time is ever spent on Vegeta, but like... Well, he's been getting more time than Dragon Ball Z, from what I've been well, told. Well, in Super, the problem is they give him a lot of time, and it's never really, like... It doesn't pay off too well. Like, I saw right. in, like... Like, it does and it doesn't. I feel like they give him more better victories in the manga... Like, he actually has a real fight with Beerus in the manga. And Beerus even comments on, like, holy shit, like, like, that was about as hard as when I fought Goku. The only thing that's weird about the manga is they completely skip the Frieza arc. It's weird. Like, they start establishing it towards the end of the Beerus arc, which, by the way, they end in four chapters. And, they and like, Goku becoming well, a super... It, de it deserves... It, it could be probably summed up by three. Go Goku becoming a Super Saiyan God, no shit, is like a chapter. No, not a chapter. Sorry, it's a page. Good. I'm not kidding. Good, it's that's one what it needs. Because people get it. Everyone people gets fucking it. get it. You watch the movie, you know what happened. That's his thing. Uh, also, but they did get rid of like Goku's dumb apprehension to use uh, the Super Saiyan God power, which was in the movie for some reason that they took out of the anime. Which I'm like, yeah, that's good. That was really dumb that he did that. Like, the Beerus fight in the anime was actually... a heart that no one wants him to have. The Beerus fight in the anime was a bit better than the movie. 
Like, but I'm not watching the Frieza arc again because people say it's not only basically the same, but it's w paced worse. I'm gonna take everyone's advice and just not do it. Yeah, no, that's, 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 that's gonna it. prevent me from watching Super. I know it because I'm gonna be like, yeah. I don't want to watch this shit again. Yeah, and what's good is that you don't have to watch much if you just limit yourself to Universe Six. That's a really short arc. And the only anime I'm watching is I'm rewatching One Piece because I'm watching it with uh, Frenchie because she wants to experience it, even though I told her. We may not get to everything, but the feels are too strong. Did and I'm ha and I, Well, I'm happy to say that um, Nami's story still holds up in the tear jerk it's department. It's so strong. Oh, and I guess well, I've been watching, I've been rewatching Dragon Ball Kai. Yeah, I don't know and that's why. Been a very interesting experience. Like, just watch I, the original. Well, the original, sh no. I want to well, watch the one the that's based on the manga. The no, voice no, actors no. are mostly the same. Not all of them. Nah, man, the original like, is filler. You Hi. know my thing with this. I <laughs> okay, hate. Okay, but you're. It's dumb. Chris Your thing Sabat is dumb. Should, Chris it's Sabat should so voice dumb. everybody. Chris Sabat still does. <laughs> He's not everyone. Everyone. <laughs> not everyone. What are you talking about? He still does. Not all the Ginyu voices... Force members. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm not even at that point yet right now. I'm literally <laughs> on the fucking fight with Vegeta. Everybody's Saiyan the same. Saga's fine. Saiyan Saga yeah. is everybody fine. Everybody with, like, Bulma... It's when you like... get to Frieza that they ruin everybody. Frieza's voice is great. No, Frieza's Actually, voice... Like... I've, I've, I've come to say that the decision with Frieza's voice is way better. Honestly, like... I agree with that. Here's the Everyone thing about else it. sucks. What's weird is that, like... Hold on, I see, I, again, I disagree... And they like raccoon is still the same. They all the important raccoon? ones are the fucking same. Ra raccoon. Raccoon. <laughs> raccoon. Raccoon. Ultra fighting. I'm about, to say, I'm about to say is fucking rocket raccoon in it? Like what the <laughs> fuck? Is yeah. Chris Sabat still voices him and Bardock, and I'm pretty sure Captain Ginyu. He doesn't voice Birder and Jace though. They're the same. No, nah. Jace is the exact same. All right, maybe Jace is. I think Bird is the one that changed, and that broke my heart. I don't know. I gotta look into I that. I think Goldo changed I think you, too. I think you're just thinking about because I'm the a voice petty bitch. No, 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 no. I think <laughs> it's just. So here's the thing. So you know that that Kai actually did get. They did dub up to the Boo Saga. I know. So I, I watched the fight with uh Vegito and, and Super Boo in the in the. Uh, and Kai, and I was a little weirded out by Super Boo's voice because I'm like, did they get a different voice actor? No, the voice actor just got older, so his voice kind of changed. It's now, the same now, exact guy. I am Boo. It, he still kind of has that like, like he 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 delivering the same lines, but it's like the voice is a lot deeper, which I actually kind of like more. But it was a bit off putting. I was what like, does he sound like Street Fighter Street Fighter Four narrator? Now fight your rival. Um. <laughs> No, I didn't do that right. it, it, he sounds. No, fight your. God damn he, it! I lost it. He he went from sounding like Salty Yusuke because that is Yusuke or Meshi and Bellamy's voice doing him to like uh or, or and Raditz his voice actor. He it's the same Raditz, guy who is just the same voice at who does the same voice for everything. Yeah, but no, his Boo voice is different. Who's like, that kid? Yeah, his Boo voice is different, but like. It, now he sounds like a black dude, and it threw me off <laughs> because I'm like, is this a different guy? And I looked on on voice act behind the voice actor. No, it's the same fucking guy. It's the same guy. They just, they just, he just has a deep. He got older. That's yeah, literally. He got older, all, unfortunately. I feel like that's a lot of the case with a lot of these voice actors. They just got older, and their voice changed. Too bad. Yeah, it's like I can't. Oh, do, it like... is right. It's his voice actor for Boo, isn't it? I, I used to, I used to be able to do Cartman, and now I came in. Rat, he actually <laughs> still sounds the exact same as Raditz. <laughs> no, that's that's why it's like Eustace the Kid is just fucking Raditz. Wait, Eustace the Kid or Bellamy? Eustace the Kid. Oh, so they have the same voice actor yeah, too? You, yeah, Eustace the Kid is Raditz. Eustace the Kid and Bellamy have the same voice actor. I guess that's to be expected with vo when One Piece. Wait, is no, a it is different. Wait for Super Boo. Oh. Justin well, it, it, Justin Cook does it in Kai and Brian Dobson. Wait. Hold on. 
No, because you, no, it is Justin Cook. The you're right. Dub. Yeah, yeah, that's the ocean dub. You're right. You're right. It is the same yeah. voice actor. Because for some reason they got all the ocean guys back to do the other dub for Asia, which I think is fucking great. They got Scott McNeil back out of the. I don't know where that fucking guy's been. The last anime he voiced in was fucking uh, Inuyasha, the final chapter. Yeah, but where is fucking number one been? Like, wh- like. <laughs> Voicing in American cartoons, honestly, that's the same case with Scott McNeil. Actually, he's been voicing in like Canadian cartoons or some shit. I don't know, but too bad. I I don't know. I've actually been enjoying the shit out of fucking Kai, just because like there's so much stuff from DBZ that I I, I didn't remember. Yo, that was they. So... By the way, uh, I watched the uh, late like the part four of uh, Gundam Origin. Yo, mm-hmm. wh- why did they just decide no, no voice actor, you won't reprise your role, and they just got some other guy that doesn't sound like a shit ass kid for Kai? Oh, because they couldn't do that for a lot of the cast. Why? He's still alive. Because it's it's a lot of, it's the same reason why they can't get like, see the ocean dub guys are weird because apparently they moved, so now it's harder to get them for certain things. They're, like, based in Canada now or some shit. Or, like, oh Asia. Oh, my God, he was Yusuke. <sighs> mm-hmm. How do I forget that? Mm-hmm. It, when, you hear, when you hear Raditz, you're just going to hear, like, evil Yusuke now. You, that's I'm just so Bell- used to him just, and like, Bellamy. phoning it in and doing Raditz voice. I know, it's, everything. like, my favorite. Honestly, like it better than Yusuke. So, like to three, die! Like, Dude, I fr- dude the Kai. I will say Kai gets Raditz out of the way so fast. It's actually kind of funny. Dead day. Yeah. What the fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I will say oh, you know let me Kai see did. If I can get stuff. Kai got a much better voice actress for Videl. Holy shit, Videl doesn't sound I like annoying Videl's anymore. Videl's voice in the. It sounded really scrappy to me. Now I just I haven't heard it in a while, so I have to rehear. It. Now she just sounds like a tough girl. I'm like, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. On, and and, and they still have and unlike young Gohan, they have the same guy for adult Gohan. Which I mean, you could again pretty much all the guys I liked, in the I liked Teen Gohan's voice way back. Yeah, you guys uh, are dead. My dad. Adult. Oh shit! Someone did a a baby mod for Vegeta in uh, Fighters. Oh no! That didn't take long. Looks someone great. did it. Well, listen, I could say I'm gonna replace that with someone did a a Sonic the Hedgehog mod Ugh. for Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh. And he, now he becomes Super Sonic. It's great. Don't you want it? It's like the reboot. Uh. Reboot. Don't you want it? I got no Baroth Rich from that. Opinionated alt chick. Don't you want it? I got two. I didn't get any. We could do it again. Do it long. again. Do it nah. again. Hey, nah. man. Sonic can have his life. Sonic the Hedgehog. Same for Knuckles. They can have their life. I, I got really upset because Yipes was singing and Chris Matrix were singing the Sonic the Hedgehog theme on, nope. on the Dragon Ball stream. Which one? No, but fuck that. What about the, uh, <laughs> the Thundercats? Sonic on the run. Oh man, when they play uh, Panthero's uh, theme, oh uh, yeah, literally told the players to stop so they can enjoy. <laughs> Yo, go faster, uh, faster, 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 faster! People are making these like dumb clickbait articles about how the game lost eighty percent of its player base, but I'm like, okay, but you have to understand. Dragon Ball Fighters had a ridiculous player base at launch. It had forty three. Billion people online at once. Bob, just ignore mm. IGN. No, it's Event Hubs, which I expect better from. Why but... are you going to? Because mm. there's nothing else. <laughs> what are you talking about? Shoryuken is dying. <sighs> it's FTC, getting... you failed me again. Like that's the problem. They're actually capable of being a good news website, but then they make clickbait and i hate them no because that's what the fgc wants if they're smart people which no the not, F- i'm pretty sure the the general fgc the FCC don't want won't let me don't be. they don't they don't want a picture of a dumb frog pondering next to a picture of ryu going is ryu bad in street fighter 5 season 3 and yet they're gonna click it anyway 
Yeah, because people are like, how bad is this clickbait? It's kind of yeah, genius, mm -hmm. but also really exploitative, and I hate it. It's like, oh, yo, the worst... Okay, so the worst was Zeku. You, so you know about Zeku, right, DJ? That character? No. The the last character from Season 2 of Street Fighter V, the old guy who transforms into a young ninja. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Guy's master. So Zeku, uh, when he came out, there was a, a stupid fucking controversy sprung on fucking on event hubs uh, because people are like, is young Zeku? And by the way, they posted the dumb frog picture for this one too. Is young Zeku a separate character? What it's does that like, mean? It's like, but then if you watch the trailer, you see he actually transforms into that character in real time. They're like, but then Event Hub's made an article saying, like, no, we don't think he transforms in real time. We think he might be a separate character. And here's the proof to our game theory. Here's the proof to this nothing thing. Mm -hmm. it, it was, and it was literally nothing when he dropped, and they were, they felt like, 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 and the, the, what was stupid is that people actually believed it. For, like, people were like, what if he is a, no, he's not. They literally show it in the trailer. Use your eyes. No, that's no. Look we don't want to use people. logic. We we just we just enjoy this shit that we had we love to bitch about. Wait, did they just do a re, did they just do a live stream showing off? Are they doing a live stream showing off people? What? Oh, no, never fire? mind. No, for uh, Dragon Ball. But no, it's just sad people showing off sword. What off. I'm really I I'm, I think I know what I ex I expect when I get Bar like Broly, but I want to know what's going on with Bardock. How the fuck are they gonna yeah, make him? Yeah, I love him, those like... trailers that showed nothing. They're not the real trailers. I'm sure yeah, they're, they're they're give, teasing. give it a while. No, not it, not even a while. It irritates me that they released them though. They said they were just do because they're teasing. That's Nether Realms does the same shit. G -G -G. They were releasing. They were, I'm not saying it's yeah, okay. Yeah, but those are more cinematic. No, it's a screenshot of the turtle and a pizza box being like, "You were so excited to show you Ninja Turtle." Are like, you a not month excited before, for that? It was pretty cool but then like exactly like, but i'm saying but i'm saying like and they're dropping like fucking one screenshot a week and for a month and it's like well then yeah but just, that's like, creative not just showing the entrance that you're gonna see in the game i know but i got really hyped when i saw broly do the marge simpson okay what the hell are you talking about with that? I don't know what the fuck that means. You don't know what the Marge Simpson no. is? I'm about to show you after this hunt, boy. Good, it's a show meme. me. Because I it, bet it's like, a meme. It's nothing like, but fucking memes. Like, like, like anything. I forgot to eat. Fuck. Like anything, the meme came out of no... Oh, boy. You better go back to base and eat. I'll, I'll hold them. Shit, I think it should be fine. Yeah, like any meme that happens it comes out of nowhere so basically the marge simpson is just a pose marge did in an episode that and in, in, in an in-between frame that people won't stop like posting everywhere <laughs> and like he does a specific pose that like people immediately cropped marge simpson on him <laughs> Like, immediately. It happened, like, an hour after he dropped. I was like, damn, I can't underestimate the fucking meme, meme base. Never underestimate the meme base. Yo, I gotta go fucking complete Odyssey already. I don't know why I haven't. Oh, wait, I remember now. Because Monster Hunter and fucking DBZ took over. It's fine. Is it, though? Monster Hunter's a good game to spend your time with. It respects Capcom when they make really good games. They make really good games more frequently than they think. Lately. Like, I, they're on a good... Tr well, here's the thing. I, I kind of agree and don't agree. I think their business practices are worse than their games. Yeah, that's that's the problem. The business Street practices. Street Fighter Five is pretty good i'm not gonna say well, street like street fighter 5 was shit when it first released now street fighter 5 is fine because the yeah. game is actually there so yeah. how about fucking release the game when it's finished and not it's just so, try to make that tournament money 
Nah, and it's still not finished. Anyway, still not, um, but it's better. But it's in a better. It's state in a better than spot than it's been, which and I, agree I would with. say that it's kind of worth forty now. But I guess like my un well, it's very worth. 40. No, it's if you look very at how worth much, 40. Like, yeah, if you look at how much like yeah, each of the is. DLC was, it's like I I envy people who are are like late late adopters of five. But here's the thing about me. I, I think, still think five, that the fucking stages sh should be unlocked and not fucking bought. I I agree, and that's the thing. Idiotic. I actually don't. I think I've I've been liking Street Fighter Five less and less as the years went on. Like, and I think that's because I'm a TO and I'm around so many people who literally ride Street Fighter's dick. And you, you know, Street I don't Fighter need Five is the hotness. It's been the pinnacle. It's the legacy. It's been there from the beginning. It started it all, so it's earned its rightful place, and it's always going to be around. Yeah, I guess. That like, being said, it's been overthrown a lot mm -hmm. because so and, many new players have come into the fray. And I think Capcom honestly like makes some highway robbery decisions, like, like, oh hey, so They're so. Not as bad we're... as Namco though. Mm, no, the Tekken pack was like twenty dollars. That's not bad for like. No, three I mean characters. like like for games like Metal Gear. Okay. Oh wait, Metal Gear? That's Konami. Oh, Konami, I meant. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I agree and disagree. I think I can't really like say. Oh, wow, he's almost already almost dead, Jesus. Um, I I don't know because like they really haven't been doing much lately. The only games they made were like Bomberman, which got and really Survivor, cool. which I'm sure has a bunch of bullshit. I'm sure, but like nobody that game came out. I had no idea, but that game came out. No, I saw the like say like here it is, it's I Metal Gear. Like you've never wanted. I hope somebody data mines the game and Kojima's in the in the in the coffin that was in that trailer. I, and I could be like, wow, Konami. Like the the Kojima model that they had in five, because that game is mostly recycled assets. The game That'd needs be... to die. Well, it needed to die a long time ago. It needs to die now. The, not even that it needed to die. They needed to finish it. What the, the what, problem is? What they needs didn't... to come back is rising. Yeah, I mean, that's it, fine. I think they don't need Kojima to do Rising. They just need Platinum to do Platinum. I don't understand platinum. why they didn't do Rising. Because Rising what? felt a lot more like Platinum's storytelling. No, but, that, but than I don't. Metal under, I don't understand yeah. why it's like, oh, Kojima's gone. What should be the next game? Because Konami is a fucking sweatshop, and they don't know what's going on. Yeah. They literally light on fire like once a day. I'm not kidding. That that's a legitimate thing. It's actually really funny. After like the the outbreak of Metal Gear, like like and how the game wasn't really finished, like like their studio lit on fire and everybody laughed at them. Like it's like idiots. I I think this was after Kojima left, but like yeah, no, Metal Gear Solid Five was such a fucking disappointment, and. Like they built that game up so much for it to be the so. The whole empire nothing. was built around that because, let's face it now, nothing they do nothing else. Cause like nothing okay, else worth of note. you know they what abandoned makes me Castlevania. Really happy? You know what really makes me happy when I when I play that new Bomberman game and I see Jehudi and Anubis in it, Something but then it also game. makes me a little sad because it's the last time we're gonna fucking see them. Uh, like in the Zone of the Enders guys and and like. Simon Belmont and Dracula and They're Pyramid that Head. That game is good, but like I think they they did a good job with the Bomberman game, but they really haven't proven the themselves it. otherwise. Like, like here's the thing that I'm taking away from it. People are saying like, watch Konami's gonna pull a Capcom. They're gonna release like a new Castlevania, and it's gonna make Bloodstain look irrelevant. Because because Bloodstain's right, gonna be just like my number nine. And remember that when has there been a, a, a good Castlevania game? And here's the thing about it too, Bloodstained. If you notice, Ego, that sounded Ego awful. Rock. Lately, I meant yeah. lately. <laughs> yeah. If you notice, DJ Koji Igarashi has been like staying far away from any drama. Who is that? Is that the creator? A creator of uh, Castle. Well, like not the the very the first Castlevania. Is he creator, the guy that's but... doing a? Uh... The guy, who, the guy who made Symphony of the Night, let's say that, and has yep. been making the games up to, like, when Konami stopped making them and then he left. Right. Well, stopped making those and made Lords of Shadow. And now making uh, Bloodstain. Bloodstain, yeah. Bloodstain, what it is. So, basically, like, 
People are trying to argue that, like, because Mighty Number no. 9 and Ukulele turned out the way they did, that Bloodstain will follow suit. But I'm like, you have to remember one very important thing. Igarashi, nice, didn't, he doesn't get involved in stupid bullshit drama. And he, he gets his shit, like, he'll show progress reports. There have been points where you got nothing from Mighty Number no. 9. You got nothing. Like, well, Mighty Number no. 9 also went, like, Oh, this is gonna be a big franchise with cartoons. Yeah, they're not doing that with Bloodstain, nor are they doing the thing the ukulele devs did and got themselves into fucking controversy. That to the point where people started looking more into the development process of the game and figured out, oh, they didn't make a great video game. Why? Well, I, I, what was the controversy thing? John Tron. Put right. that on them. That's Jontron being an idiot. Yeah, well, the way they handled it, I'm not gonna look. I'm not defending Jontron and what he. Did. They were both wrong. That's what I'm basically saying. The way they handled it, they made was a split very... decision that, and they were gonna get fucked either way. You know. Wait, what, that, what, I mean, what about Jontron? It what, was what? it was because he had a voice in the game, and because he decided to like talk up a big game about politics and not be able to back it up yeah i mean words. and he's and, and he, he decided we're not having any of this he's out of the game and he was dumb for uh... using that as a platform but it, i forgot exactly what it was because it's so behind me and i don't care oh but i didn't like, realize he was a he was minor character as a fridge but yeah well like yeah i will say it was pretty funny when like the hat and time developers were like hey guys we're keeping john tron in wink Oh man, Hat in Time's so good, but, but <laughs> like, boy. yeah, um, I, I just think that the games, both those games just had really, really rough development process. Meanwhile, Iga has been taking his time and showing like in progress development of the game and it looks good. There's been two really good betas that played well. So it's like really hard for me to say that it's going to be bad. Well, you also got to remember too, like he's been like his his like games of like Castlevania are a little bit more recent than like Banjo Kazooie. So he kind of has like an understanding of what's still wanted. Where it's like you kind of nah. you kind of feel like the people that made Banjo Kazooie. Symphony kind of have Night. been so far away from it that they forgot what the true magic really was of it. Symphony of the Night actually came out a year before Banjo Kazooie. No, I mean, but, but I mean, like in terms of like I, Castlevania, I get what you, what you're Castlevania saying, games, though. like he still has like a pulse on the finger of the fan base where it's like yeah. Banjo Kazooie's developers kind of seem like they just have been so far away from it that they kind of forgot what made basically, it. Basically, basically. So what I'm saying is like the Castle. Yeah, what you're saying is Castlevania's been around like consistently. <laughs> since symphony of the night for years but then the that that platforming like genre kind of died out in like 2001 and yeah. didn't really not come to mention back rare just got you know their their dreams crushed and their egos crushed by a bunch of bullshit and they kind of probably lost the luster that they had once again and they tried well, very yeah, hard no. to reclaim that glory but and and that that's not to say okay. Let me just be clear. Ukulele is not a terrible game, but it's definitely not Banjo Kazooie. I got bored of it. I mean, I'll, I'll, it's I, I really put, boring. I put my heart and soul into trying to beat that game. They and they, I was like, I'm done. You Don't could you care. could feel you could feel that they like only went as far as like they wanted to just make it like Banjo. They didn't want it to be its own thing. I did not like get you, a Barrow Ridge at all. God damn. I don't we'll know do why I'm not fucking getting the ridge. <laughs> we'll do it one or two more times. I do have to go to bed. I have to be up early. No, I'm... I'm William, I... I but, can't even fucking talk. Yeah. I'm... I'm get, oh, my God! Yeah, this, I can tell. The mildew in more... Milwaukee was mild. Have, the mildew have... in Milwaukee was mild. Okay, I That's can talk interesting. now. That's interesting. So, <laughs> if you have a voucher, use your voucher. What the hell does that do? You don't know what the you've been playing and haven't. Uh, I don't the know voucher. things. My friends so when were gone. You select the quest. You press triangle when the voucher list comes up, and then you, you select the Wait, voucher. So the, when I go into the investigation that you have, I press triangle. It, it's if do you see like a little list of like, like post-it notes almost like, a little like set of them, and it says like vouchers. Am I going into post new quest for that? Where am, I, where am I going for that? What's happening? No problem. Okay. 
Nah, my dad's sleeping, so I have to be. I have, I have to keep it down. Uh, so let tell me, me what I have to do, Bob, and just and fuck, explain to me what's going I, on. I I fucked up because I was gonna tell you what to do, but then I remembered if I cancel an investigation, it uses up one of the things. I lost the investigation. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I have another bear off. I probably have another bear off investigation. For all I know, I probably have. It. I just don't know how to get We've it. We've been fighting the fuck out of him. There's no way I don't have one. Or, or a few. Yeah, I might even have a better one. Why are so... they still making sword art games? No one cares, do they? Uh, oh, they make a new anime. How they do. There's, it's still going on? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so when the new season of the next season of anime comes out in April, DJ, I want you to do, do me a huge favor. Watch Golden Kamui. There's going to be an anime called Golden Kamui. Golden Kamui. Golden K... A A U M Y Kamui, Golden Kamui. You need to watch that fucking anime. Oh my god! I these read... people at Namco are really trying to sell you on this sword art figure. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, continue. I, I didn't get one, so I'm gonna do the optional bear off. Ugh. <sighs> Why you do this to me, game? Anyway, um, it's basically just about it's a it takes place Why in are like these idiots holding PS4 controllers and they're not gonna play the game. Get out of here! It's you basically a bugs. big it's a big treasure hunt anime starring a former Japanese soldier named um, what's this Sugimoto the Immortal, and he's got like these scars all over his face, and he's a cool dude, and then this like wild like tribal girl who's good at hunting and like they basically search for treasure <laughs> it's it's way more intense than you think he fights a bear in the first chapter and it, it's the most evil bear apparently it's a bear that bear. didn't go to hibernation and so it becomes a lot more vicious eating people even it's oh. it's it's cool. It's really cool. And I, I want everybody to watch it. Oh, I forgot, it's... Bob. I need to send you uh, an invite to my guild, the Gourmet Hunters. Oh, you're, 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 uh, your guild. Yeah, the Gourmet Hunters. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. Nice. When the world's Wait, most manliest me... heroes quest for yet undiscovered culinary let me find the Marge Simpson meme. Oh yeah, please show me this bullshit. Oh, is that the 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 wind up punch? Yeah. Okay. You know, you know the one. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say uh, that's like the only one I know. Just to make sure. <laughs> Wait, you know? You see it now? <laughs> oh my god, DJ's dead. <laughs> he sees it now. Yeah, that's confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> DJ, are you ready to laugh even harder? Are you ready? Here we go. I'm, I'm gonna oh, fuck. Don't Facebook just destroys Lance? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it typically does. <laughs> oh. All right, oh. all right, all right. Calm yourself, because you're about to laugh even harder. Oh boy. Oh no, it's emotion. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's so strong. <laughs> oh. I'll destroy Dr. Owens, you sweetie. <laughs> oh. I can't stop watching it now. I forgot, I did something similar too, where I took the, uh, the March image and um, Shim Wu's uh, uh, Neo Max in King of Fire 13. Mm -hmm. He actually, if you pause at the right frame, he has the same wind up as March. And so I put like uh, Shim Wu and March about to uh, throw hands, and they're both doing the same pose. I don't know what's a better oh, meme, Jesus this or Ste steamed hams. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Made from the steamed clams I'm making. Mmm, steamed clams. <laughs> I, I even nah, March. That's just the episode. <laughs> no. That's just the episode.
episode. Nah, March is the best one. Oh, I meant steamed hams. <laughs> I'm from Unica, and I've never heard them call them steamed hams. It's a regional dialect. Oh. All right, that that's the way. Uh, regional dialect. So to accept the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> but what if? <laughs> <laughs> Delightfully devilish, Seymour. <laughs> Good lord, what is happening in here? Aurora Borealis? Aurora your, Borealis. In your kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> <Seymour. laughs> Lo Localized in this very facility. You know, you know which yes. one I like when they use the DK rap to voice everything? How yeah. Seymour, I am here to invite <laughs> oh. you into my incredible little that's, chain. That's my favorite. Aurora Marie Atlas in your <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> also, I also like steamed hams, but I've seen, I've never seen The Simpsons, so I improv the whole scene in one take. <laughs> that one's really strong because he didn't never heard the audio, so he kind of just hates. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> it's like I, underrated. I still love underrated. that YouTube. I forget what it's called, but it, it, it's the man that just makes all the the music. He's the one that standing. Spencer on showed the me edge on the crater. <laughs> <laughs> Spencer, Spencer sent me a steamed hams video, but then it's like done shittily in Flash. <laughs> I think I've seen that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The his favorite part is where uh, uh, superintendent just like slides across the floor and goes. Eh. I don't think this is as good of a lap as uh, the uh, Kareem Peach. Oh God! What? <laughs> you remember they? Oh, I hey, you're you're drawing. That's Ooh. like an old. I fucking... join your eyes, Peach. You guys just seem to get lost, dude. <laughs> that is like that. Is, that one is so. Oh, that, is, that one is so strong. It kills me every time. <laughs> Real Peach. <laughs> <laughs> What's that you're drawing? I, I join it's you, man. Oh, I, I just, I just can't keep me lost, you know. Get out of here, you stupid little shitheads. Uh, uh, I I want I wish Leon was on. I know. One Dude. day. I need to go find out what the fuck's up with him. I'm gonna ask him something. It's like, so do you just hate your job and is your job just are you becoming Bob where it's like your job is now preventing you from socialization? Rip. Cause we blame Bob for that. Cause it's like, oh, Bob could socialize. He just doesn't want to. He's too much of a bitch. <laughs> Is that what Leon said? No, that's that's what me and him would say. But then we realize, oh no, he does work hard. <clears throat> <laughs> He's too much of a bitch. You know, I, you know. Honestly, <laughs> people have said worse. It's fine. No, it's not. We don't mean it like that. We love you. Uh, love you too. <laughs> Honestly, that was mostly me, because I was just like, Bob's too cool to hang out with me. Angsty. Okay, also, we... just a reminder to everyone in my social circle that's not watching this, I am alive, and I can be invited to things, if they happen. Keep me in your hearts. I'm too far for me to invite you to places, sorry. You can still attempt to make the attempt, Sickle. Alright, I'll be sure to R RSPV you for CLD. RSPV. Or I forgot, I don't even know what, what layers that is. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I don't know, it's a Facebook thing, apparently. I remember the PB PVP you. RVSP, RV, I forgot what four letters is it. I hate it. Trying to spell out respect? What the fuck? No. <laughs> suck it to me, suck it to me, suck it to me. Oh, jeez. Just a little bit? No, a lot. Unless we're playing fighting games, you get no respect. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'm probably, I'm probably gonna see if I can come to more of your tournament things, just to see the whole crew. What was that? 
can probably try to cut the war you turn with things just to see the whole thing. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. I'm going uh -huh. down. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, and so is uh, Baroth. Diablos is here. Oh. Um, yeah, fuck this. I'm gonna go fight Baroth downstairs. I'm coming. Yes, I'm gonna go fight Baroth downstairs. <laughs> you know what they need to do? They've been doing like reboots of old fighting games bring back battle arena toshinden bring back tattoo <laughs> assassins southern cross oh. <laughs> that'd be like bringing back bubsy don't oh, do that oh bob did i for did you know about this i don't think you were here for it i randomly came across the virtual fighter anime i'm like i guess this is happening <clears throat> oh no diablos is now here so bob i can officially say that i've watched all the virtual fighter anime I mean, I feel like you're like the only person. It has who I know a Sailor Moon that. transformation for Akira. <laughs> One should never harm others, dude. Diablo or themselves. My shit. creed. Who said that? That's Akira. That he he says that's his monologue for every fight he does. These are the words I live by, and it is the law of my master. Puts the headband on. However, that doesn't apply to scum like you. Come on! Really? <laughs> I need to check this shit out now. <laughs> Yo, and did you know that a new... Does Leon Kai know about... Kai is the worst. She is the fucking worst. What does she do? She's annoying. And she's <laughs> like, Oh, my dad... He, he, he abandoned us to fight because my mom was dying. And then, mm. like, this evil organization <coughs> is, like, trying to track her down because they need to marry her so, like, the evil guy could get in. I thought you were watching <laughs> Virtua Fighter. I was! They had, they, they, had to have a, they had to have a villain in it, so it's just, just this organization. Wait, wait, is the villain... The villain's not Doral? It is Doral, but they have so to Dural have a scientist Ritter. that creates Doral. Yeah, that's the thing in the games. It's just not ever explicitly but, said. Yeah, so they so they have all these pe fucking people, and then they kidnap Sarah, and so she's like an evil it's, like. It's more or less watch. sounds like. It sounds like the Street Fighter Five, not Five, the Street Fighter Two V anime, which wasn't very good either. I think it was made by the same people. Uh, yeah, I mean, it sounds. My like creed. Just, it, and that just sounds bad. Even with Akira, like, I kind of want to watch it. Akira loves dumplings, and he loves to eat food. <laughs> Good job, you named oh, every man. Like, Goku. <laughs> oh, you man. Mean, When's the next lunch? You named every Goku. Oh, and he hangs out with... Uh, th what the hell is Sarah's brother's name? Um, shit, I don't remember. Brian, maybe? Yeah. Jackie? I think so. And so so he's just like, so where are we going, Bro-chan? I really want to know what's going on, Bro-chan. That sounds like Jackie. He's really annoying in the games, too. No, no, he, no. that's Akira talking to Jackie. Oh. Jackie's just like, shut up, I'm not your brother, you asshat. Does Jackie say less talk, more action? No. They also have, uh, can you keep up with my speed? And he doesn't have any annoying voice. He's just some rich guy. Oh, Lion? Yeah, he is rich. Yeah. That's but accurate. You know what? That show's not good, though, because El Blazin and, uh, fucking J Brad isn't in it. Or J John Cujo. Or Go. All the good Wolf's virtual fighting it, characters. And the fuck, and Bass okay, is in fine. it. Okay, fine. They have Wolf. You mean, you mean Jeffrey? Jeffrey, yeah. Yeah, does Jeff Akira, still, does Jeff I need to go get a boat. The boat is the only thing I've wanted. <laughs> oh no, it sounds really like not good because Jackie should only be like an angry, loud black guy who's just like, rawr, rawr, dab, dab, no, dab, he's dab. just super Jamaican. That's upsetting. Like, because part of his character is that he's I a love the sea. The sea is the greatest thing in the world. That's Remember upsetting. that, Akira. That's upsetting because he's supposed to be retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Is it real? 
<laughs> Dude, like, okay, I want you to go look, listen to all of Jack, not Jack. Oh, no, uh, he sounds uh, like it, but I, oh, I thought oh, you meant in canon. It says he's mentally oh, retarded. In, in, like, in the game, he just... Listen to how he sounds. Oh, wee. <laughs> the last in the older ones. Are, <laughs> like four times. <laughs> My favorite one is is like Wolf, Wolf just has all awoos and then he just jumps in the air and goes, "Come back again in another year." <laughs> I use that. I use that actually. Like when Street Fighter Five Season Three came out, I'm like to those people who didn't get their characters buffed in this patch and i just posted the video of, of wolf doing that <laughs> come back again in, in another, another year, year. <laughs> it's so strong i still have the fucking video clips <laughs> somewhere on my computer because it's a hot wild vision a warrior on a mission oh god please tell me there's terrible music in the anime too well that's the intro Oh God! Kissing so... that is the key. I did end up. It's a hot, wild vision. A warrior on a mission. I did it. You know what? I did end up. I, I, like, like a week or two ago, I did end up actually getting the show. Dan finally, Gundam War in the Pocket. Oh, Have you watched man. that? Yes. I I need to go rewatch it. It's a really good movie. It's... It's really good, except, you know, it's really funny what? because I've become such a voice actor nerd. I found out that, like, you really half have. Of, <clears throat> I feel like four characters are voiced by the fucking old lady who voices Izzy from Digimon. It's it's the Hold two on. kid friends, literally both of of <laughs> Al, Alan's kids. Oh, kid God. Friend. What the fuck? Yeah, what? he's he's back. No, no, no. Get out. Get out of here, Devil Joe number two. Is he really equivalent of that? He's basically. People say that. So I mean, I'm he's gonna, annoying, so. He's hard. I'm going to just get him the fuck out of here. Have you beat bombs. him? No. I was about to say, because I haven't beat him at all. He's technically late game. <clears throat> I just threw a dung bomb at him. Out of here. Oh is, oh, is that what they do? Yeah. Oh, no. I, I hope... Baroth isn't leaving the same The area. GIF is still playing. Hmm? The GIF is Oh, oh Broly. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I actually really hope Vic Manana voices Broly in the new game, so he says, <laughs> guy... So he so can he goes, hate his life? Yeah, so he can go on Twitter and be like, I want to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like, I, I I actually listened to how he, his Broly recently because I never heard like his Broly. I'll be honest. And then like, what his normal voice? From like, no, from like the movie, and like, his scream sounds like he's hurting. Yeah. <laughs> no, specifically when he becomes a Super Saiyan, like me and Mar and Marlin fucking loves it. And I can't blame him. It's really strong, but it sounds like Vic Mignogna's really killing his his vocal cords. Pretty much, so, yeah. He put all of his passion into that role. It's so good. Apparently there's apparently the guy that directed the movies is apparently going on Twitter being like, "Oh yeah, bro, I can defeat everybody in Super." Nah, oh, but oh yeah, but the, no. Sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say, the guy who uh, directed the DBZ anime made all the original movie villains, and he loves every one of them. Yeah, so he's just going on to his like, oh yeah, he could he could totally beat everyone super. Yeah, I, you watch. I assume you watch the uh, Eye Patch Wolf video, right? No, I I just listened to the Two Best Friends podcast. Oh, okay. Week, and they talk about it. Oh, got you. Yeah, because Eye Patch Wolf. It. Oh yeah, because he's in Mo he was in Montreal. Well, yeah, he's he's lit. I think he's literally just staying with Pat. Or at least was because I think on tw on Twitter he posted like talking about it in past tense. He's like, yeah, I played Dynasty Warriors Nine when I was in Montreal. I mean, he was there last night. Yeah. He's on stream last night. Apparently, they were playing fighting games, and he was. Yeah, basically, Pat was just teaching him how to play Dragon Ball. Oh. Yo, his cool. stream. Have you seen his fucking stream intro? Pat. Yeah. Yeah, it's strong. Yeah. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Um. The same, his it's wife's a, stream. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. It's made by the same guy that did Clemson's intro. Yeah, they were actually all hanging out together. Uh, Volta Bass, Clemps, and Pat. And, yeah, there you go. But yeah, Volta. Yeah, I was gonna say the name. And, yeah, Volta. Uh, yeah. Pat's uh, girlfriend. Oh yeah, Paige. Yeah. She seems really nice. Oh, Sylvia. She there seemed nice yeah. when I when I saw Pages? when when, when I had a, a small conversation with her too many games when uh, Leon was fighting Pat and Garo. So you need to like, you need to listen to Clemps's podcast where he talks with Paige. It's wonderful and it's I bet really it is. funny. I bet it is. Clemps seems a, like a wonderful young boy. He is, and I'm really happy for him. I'm going to try to get re to get back into his videos again. Yeah. You just gotta find, like, I mean, he's watches Kingdom Hearts shit. <laughs> Even though I don't like Kingdom Hearts. But they're really funny. He, Even like, though makes Jake is like, hey, we're gonna beat every Kingdom Hearts, and I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> just watch his videos. They're really funny. Can I get a fucking Ridge game? I'm really waiting for the next episode of Johnny takes a game out of a box and reviews the game. I think he said he said Okami's next, which yeah, I'm actually really yeah, looking forward to next, that. Yeah, that's gonna be. I'm like, I don't think he realizes how long that game is. <laughs> it's probably why we haven't seen it. He, he's like, well, you know, next game is Okami. I mean, oh, I don't man. really understand this game. I mean, I don't understand like the things around it. Like, oh god damn it, Naruto. Yeah, the <laughs> it was a Naruto video. Everything you wanted, because <laughs> you kind of read that. <laughs> he did exactly that. It's, it's Naruto. I didn't grow up with this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I only watched Dragon Ball Z. Like Dragon Ball. I mean, I remember being on Toonami. And Toonami had a lot of cool stuff, but I wasn't a kid back then. <laughs> He has, like, I love him. He has, like, such a formula, though, to how he talks. To how he, like, opens up videos. <laughs> now, I don't remember this. <laughs> <laughs> Every video. <laughs> or, oh, I remember this as a kid. So, Mario Odyssey. I think it's a pretty good game. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's maximal. So, we're here back again in the week of the month of the year of the session of the marathon of this game. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, at, during the marathon, I didn't realize how long this game would take me. That's a good gint egg. That's a good one. It's my favorite joke from him. It's That's the much. only joke that... <laughs> that's, that's, that's like the... That's the one that's like sold. Yeah. Good you know, what's, you know what? I, I, I can predict, though, like, I think they're going to show off the new uh, Dragon Ball trailers at Winter Brawl uh, tomorrow. Oh, oh no, not tomorrow. Being there live for the Dragon Ball trailer. Hey, I was there live at NEC for them killing Dead or Alive. Oh. <laughs> C6, yeah, you know. Oh, that shit man. was devastating, and I, I saw that live one. reactions of the players, and I was like... <laughs> This is better than any other game reveal I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> this was fucking funny and sad. Holy shit. It was funny and then it became sad because then they talked about a player that died and I was like, oh. Oh, no. Jesus wow. Christ. Went that far. Ooh. Mm. It hit me with the feels. <laughs> I'm feeling so many things right now about this. Now, oh. maybe a new Did virtual... Did I get a fucking ridge, please? Now I wish you Suzuki would stop making Shenmue 3 and just make Virtua Fighter 6. Oh, I actually got ridges this time. You okay. did it. I can nice. make one thing, though. It's an improvement. It is an improvement, but at least I got fucking ridges. Yeah. Anyway, your boy is a uh, uh, fucking uh, dead. It's Bobby's bedtime. Bedtime. It's his bedtime. Me, your boy. Yo. Now, Bitcoin, I don't remember this concept. Bedtime collusion, you remember this. <laughs> There's definitely going to be bedtime collusion tomorrow night. I can guarantee you that much. Wait, is Spencer going to be rooming with you? No, actually, Spencer's rooming with Marlon and Elijah. He's too cool to room with me. I'm rooming with, with, with like a couple Marlin of Marlon and Elijah? That's a little... Well, I guess they need it, to share a room. I mean, I yeah. They're going to share the same bed. Mm-hmm. And, um... 
what was I going to say? Yeah, like, like Spencer actually told the guys I am rooming with, he's like, guys, watch out because Bob's going to share a bed with you. I'm like, I don't <laughs> like sharing beds with people. Why are you but spreading the collusion, slander? though? The collusion. And he's like, he'll whisper about bedtime collusion in your ear. I'm like, I will do that. That's something that will happen, but the bedtime sharing thing is not... Listen, Frenchie will be with me at uh, when we go out, but my eyes are going to be all on Dan. I mean, that's very natural <laughs> for a human being. The boy's hairy chest, the folding inside his bed. It's like you look at him, and then like if his like bedding is like a little like uncouth, you're just like, surely you jest. And then you pat him on the head, like, give him a cookie. Give him a little biscuit. <laughs> I don't know what I just said. <laughs> I just, that Hello, was literally... Hello, Seaball. I am here to get you to get me steam hands. Wait, before I do go, I do want to send you the, the, the whole scene in one take video. <laughs> it's so good. I fucking... Let me, DJ, hold on, I'm posting it. Hello, they see what? Alright. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> I'm gonna watch it again, too. Hello, sir, do you have a moment to talk about Jesus Christ? Uh, I'm selling things. Oh, uh, no, actually, I was cooking something in the kitchen. Uh, you can see it by my apron. Uh, well, I'm coming in <laughs> for some reason. Oh, well, oh, my oven, it's smoking. Oh, I'm burning the d ham hock. Uh, how could I have done this? Oh, look, there's a fast food restaurant over there. Maybe I could go buy some burgers. Uh, I'm tasty right about now. Oh, I'm so funny. Uh, look at me. I make a funny face, and then I crawl out the window. Excuse me. It's Skinner and the Superintendent. It's a show on the show that's already a show. Oh, God. Aren't we funny <laughs> writers? Yeah, you think we are? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, yeah, I was just about to crawl out the window. Uh, I, I'm and do some stretches. Uh, it's really fun. You should join. Well, I don't really feel like it, and also I hate you. Oh, that's too bad, uh, but uh, I, I need to check on my oven. It's steaming, as you can see. Mmm, it's delicious. I love steam. <laughs> Wow. Whew, that was a close one. Alright, now I'm gonna go mm, buy some burgers. I love steam. Uh, hello, I've got <laughs> a whole plate of burgers here for you. I'm, uh, how'd you get a bunch of burgers? I'm, I'm confused. Oh, well, I, I, I pulled them out of the oven. I was steaming ham along with the burgers. Well, I, I don't really want a burgers right now. Oh, but you see, uh, burgers are high in content. Oh, uh, what kind of content? Uh, the big content. Well, what's big, big content? content. I, I don't know what that is. You're talking nonsense to me right now. I, I, Oh, well, it, it doesn't really matter. Just let's eat burgers. Oh, okay. Mm, there seems to be a lot of things on this burger. Oh, yeah, that's the big content I'm burger. talking about. There's lots of, lots of content. Lots of content. Lots of content. Okay, well, that sounds fine. Then. Big uh, how about a toast? I don't really want a toast. Uh, I'd rather just eat this burger. Uh, I'm not, I don't like that toast. Oh, uh, well, uh, that's too bad, because I, I had all this toast ready for you, and... Uh, <laughs> I just hold on. Can you give me a second? I need to go check on the stove. Okay, I'm back and everything's on fire and it's ah, it's awesome. <laughs> it's it's really cool. Uh, I see. Well, I need to be going. And oh my God, what's happening in your kitchen? Oh, it's nothing. It's yeah, nothing. <laughs> what do you mean? It's I I can clearly see fire in there. I'm very angry with you now. I'm going to kick you in the dick because I feel like it. You suck. I hate you. Okay. Very well. I've changed my mind. <laughs> well, okay. Bye. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello there, God. I'm. Wait, you know God. I was. I came here to talk to talk to you about God. Oh yeah. By the way, God. God's great. See ya. And it all comes back to God. <laughs> I I think what impressed me the most is he was able to like. It's just one guy. He was able to like swap between the two so quickly. Oh, you mean swap the same voice? <laughs> oh, man, I'm very angry with you now. You can see the anger. Mmm, <laughs> delicious steam. Mm, steam. That one kills me every time. <laughs> delicious steam. Oh, no, something is burning in my kitchen. Oh, but maybe I can go and get bur burgers. <coughs> oh, I don't like the lead uh, uh, Dominic, This is awesome. Oh! Delightfully devilishly bore.
All right. I'm gonna get off now. <sighs> yeah, but it was great to see you, and I know that we will see each other again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Talk to y'all later. <laughs> see you later, shit schlit. All right, Mr.